Santa. Florence Chan is here, yes. Yes. Bro, you gotta start getting on the Joseph Anderson streams. The fucking community is lit. Sometimes, he puts his dryer on, and then in the middle of the stream, and we don't know when it's gonna happen, the dryer gets the cycles done, and the dryer sings a song, and we all dance and clap together. Sometimes, I even clap along with the streamer. It's great. It's great. Uh... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> sure. Actually true. Actually true. Dryer is a feature. Thank you to Capster for equal equals Keck. I have to do something about anime as a deal for this. So, yeah. That's gonna be fun. Thank you, Caps. What is your opinion on Zero Skip Trilogy? Now you've had something to think about them. Same as always, it's shit. It's interesting, but a lot of problems. It was a good time. I don't know if I would have liked it if I didn't stream it though. Is it better than Danganronpa and YS? Uh, I think it is, yeah. I think it is better than Danganronpa overall. So, in case you can't tell, I'm very tired today. I'm very low energy. I got woken up a lot last night. So, let's hope the game does the heavy lifting because I'm really tired. Oh, man. Story of my business life right now, or my career life right now, is that I thought I had more time before the family swallowed up almost all of my time and I didn't and I am playing catch-up forever but I feel like in the past couple months things have finally begun to settle at least a little bit but I don't know that's ahead of schedule too it should be another another year at least if you consider the difference in budget how does this rank to you next to David Cage games I think this is much better than all the David Cage games oh is it better than Detroit Become Human though I think Detroit hot take I think Detroit Become Human is actually pretty good I don't know if it's better than Detroit Become Human. I don't know. Detroit Become Human actually has some good characters in it. The rest, the uh, others don't have any good characters. Like, so, and in this game, there aren't any really good characters, you know? There, there are really good characters in Detroit Become Human. All two of them. <laughs> Marcus, yeah, but all the rest of this game and all the rest of them have cringy, shitty characters like that too. How is this better than Indigo Prophecy so much? Okay, are we talking ironically? Ironic enjoyment? Ironic enjoyment, Indigo Prophecy is one of the best games of all time. The the whole sequence of when we streamed that, of like when he's standing outside on the street, and and you can like, you can cut the tension in chat with a knife as it's like, all right, here we go. <laughs> There is no ironic enjoyment, only enjoyment. Not true. I disagree with those words. You can you can enjoy something for the wrong reasons. And when you enjoy something for the wrong reasons, then I think you're allowed to call it ironic enjoyment. I think that's what that means to me. I enjoy the stream for the wrong reasons. There you go. Some people are gonna enjoy me ironically. Would David Cage get away with it if his protagonist were teenagers and he stopped doing shower scenes? Maybe, maybe. I, th I do think that David Cage needs someone there to tell him maybe not. And I think that might have happened in Detroit Become Human. Or at the very least, like, there was some other input that some other people had to get that they gave a shit when it, come, when it came to, like, writing some of the characters and the performances. Do you think Connor and Hank were accidentally good? No, I don't think so. I think, um... Oh, okay, when you say accidentally, do you mean that they, it, just, it just so happened to work? Because I feel like one of the reasons why Connor and Hank work were because of the performances of the actors they had. Like, they're, they're carrying it, and they're making something that could have been very cringy and very awful, and that worked. So if you if you mean, like, the performances saved it and elevated it, and you want to call that an accident, then I, I guess I would agree. But I'm not sure if I'm comfortable calling that accidentally, a good performance accidental, you know? I think the relationship was well written. See, I want to agree, but... Hank was just a clusterfuck of a character of just like remember when we got to his house and he had all those all those post-its on the on his fucking bathroom shaving or not? Just like I really feel like with 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 not a good enough not that level of performance, that would have been just awful.
<laughs> so I feel like the performance is what's doing the heavy lifting there. <laughs> Shaving or not. Previously on Life is Strange. The light boots. Wow, that was strange. Whoa, dark room, that's strange. That's it. Oh, strange barn. You know more about We're best friends, we're practically strangers. Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the True. Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. So they just so happened to close to bury to Rachel in Your their secret hideout spot. Oh no. Chloe. Look how what the fuck? Alright, so I have questions, chat. I have lots of questions. <clears throat> King among them is How did Jefferson get there before them? He didn't he obviously was. He's there waiting for them, set up with a with a syringe and a gun ready to go. And he had to had get there quietly or else they would have like heard another car in the area, right? So like he he had to have gotten there first. Unless he jumped in their trunk. Ooh. Was he in the back of their pickup truck? And he was like, hee hee hee. <laughs> Convenient that he happened to drug the the uh, drug Max so she can't use her rewind powers, huh? Say Squeenix, Squeenix. Does he know? Don Tenodi. Polarize. That's not a bad shot there. I like that. I just like how in a lot of media, BDSM stuff is is usually mixed with psychopaths. It's not cool. Oh, it's a dark room. Okay, rewind. Can't. All right. Nathan is definitely not the killer for sure. It's definitely Mark Jefferson. And Nathan is like his protege or apprentice or whatever. Nathan doesn't want to kill them or anything. I think maybe Nathan didn't realize they were killing them. Or that Mark Jefferson was like that. Or they had to kill Rachel out of nowhere or whatever. And there's no way that Nathan is the killer. And he's just wrapped up in some bad shit. He's definitely a bad person. But that's what I think. Here's the thing that could make the game story completely irredeemable for me. So I'm putting down the gauntlet. Here is the great vegetables that could happen this stream, alright? If Mark Jefferson is Nathan's dad... There you go. If Mark Jefferson is Nathan's dad, the story is irredeemable. How would that happen even? Exactly. Exactly. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying, if Nathan Jefferson is Nathan's dad, Nathan Jefferson, Mark Jefferson is Nathan's dad, irredeemable. Is anybody out there? Please help. Detach. Let's look around. Got a snoop. And right in front of me. First we snoop. Oh, he sucks. Okay. Finally, I'm free. Almost. Oh man, it's a it's a trolley problem. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Thanks, Kate. You do remember we saw his dad in a photograph, right? Decoy photograph. Okay, we just we just pulled it over to look this at the photo. La Mayo. All right. Cool. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Uh, excuse me? Oh, so it's any photograph. How does she know that? Did she promise? The promise was implied. Oh, that's great. Oh, Max. oh it's her! I thought it was Kate. Sorry, sorry, my bad. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity. Hope God, now he has his his real psychopath voice. God damn it! 
Media, why? As soon as someone becomes evil, they're like, oh yeah, now I talk like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah the photograph, I'm afraid. I've been pretending all along to be normal. This is my real voice. Yeah. The most pure expression of Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there. Stay still. Stay still, goddammit. You think this is not pre-recorded? Oh, this is, I got you all. This is pre-recorded right now. This is just a bit. I'm not really playing this game. Joe isn't Max, even real. You fucked up <sighs> my shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. <laughs> yes. I still hate that word. Selfie is a weird word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Useless. Let me try this angle. This is awkward, bud. Don't move! Uh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Oh, thank you for monologuing. Arcadia Bay. Thank you so much for monologuing. Nice. Good. Oh, what the hell? Look at those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. Yep, you keep going. And you fell right into my hands. Oh, surveillance. You really should have focused on school. Work, David Madsen set this up. Not detecting with your little friend. David Madsen's a bad David Madsen. And then we did and cry him about it. Yeah, I set the surveillance up in that bunker, but I didn't know what he was doing down there. I think every every person has a right to, to decide if they want surveillance in their own home or, or bunker out in the middle of the woods, don't you think, Max? Yeah, you know what, David? That's a good point. You didn't know what was going down in there. You know what, David? You're all right. All right. Okay, cool. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. okay. Now this looks good. Oh man, that's the $20,000 camera. a few more close-ups. Max? Please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I respect I've had you, Max. my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule always take the shot. I don't remember him saying that. Oh no, that was a flu shot. Now I'm gonna get the flu again. Curse you, Mark Jefferson. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. All right, that one didn't work. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. For competitions? Damn, she's still hustling. Broken vial. Okay. 
I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Okay, so I'm not expecting many people to laugh at it because it's not a very good joke. But did did anyone find instead of Life is Strange, it was ZZ Top Lagrange in the title funny? Did anyone find that funny, or is that just for me? <laughs> no, no one found it funny. It's just for me. Okay. <laughs> Look. I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. You didn't read the title. I have a, I have a whole 12 days of, of Christmas theme going on and you're not even reading the title? Okay, if she got her leg out, she could get her arms and, and other leg out, right? Maybe not. It's hard to tell. That's what the duct tape is for, I guess. This might work. Please work. So we assume that Jefferson is talking about his own family in third person since he's Nate's dad. I, I'm starting to think that maybe he's not Nate's dad, which is good. I really like that shirt. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our, our bond. connection. Yep. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. But why let Kate go afterwards? Did Nathan bust her out? Did she escape? Or was Rachel the exception? Huh. Is Kate, Kate the exception for getting out, or is Rachel the exception for getting killed? Simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray. Oh, that's so gross. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath. And this is your last you're session. You're a psychopath that snaps for money. Au contraire, Max. <laughs> I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. That's a sign of sanity. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. No, Nathan did. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense. That's, that's, that's true. what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. That's true. Why do you say it's fuck like that? It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Then why did you blame David Matson for stalking Kate? Of course he was the only person who was about to find out the truth. Irony. I do know that the press gods are going- See? David! I called it, man! People in chat being like, Joe, what the fuck? Exa- David! unsung hero of the fucking of the game completely right in every way what the fuck people in chat going fucking like holy shit i can't believe he's still doing that fucking david man fucking david I'm going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework you use nathan he's as sick as you you use nathan I prefer the term manipulated, like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. Why are we doing this, Mark? A sort of father figure for Nathan. <gasps> oh my God, it he is his dad. Teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Not everything. Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access. To the Prescott fortune, who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? 
How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh, uh, but why are we gonna die then? Why Rachel? Why Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Can't wait for her to be in the prequel and she's just going to be the most basic bitch ever. She let you take pictures? Did you know, Frank? She let you take pictures. Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. Nah. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so... True! Look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No! You didn't. We're not so different, you and it's I. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject. Like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Whoa. So if I had reported Nathan with the gun, um in the first episode right now would would uh mark be using that as like a way like and also you, you contributed to to making nathan look like a psychopath by reporting him that he had that gun because that would be kind of a cool a cool callback for chloe and rachel and everybody else i do love your spirit max but you brought yourself here is this better or worse than the persona 4 plot twist this is i'm sorry this is a plot twist i'm i'm still waiting for the plot twist of course it was fucking mark jefferson Where's, where's the plot twist? Uh, we haven't gotten to that yet. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots get. Wait, you can rewind on the chair? Uh, okay. So, look, knock the chair over. And then rewind. Chair goes back. You don't. Now you're free. Stand up. Get some aluminum foil. Problem? <laughs> Lol, I don't think that's how it works. It kind of is how it works, but she'd have to somehow not be in contact with it. That is actually how it works. I don't know how she could. There's, there must be a way to use the time trial powers to get out of this. That would be interesting. Anyway, I can see why you're. You don't need to print your work out. Okay, so it looks like the journal's the only one. Hey, let's compare photos, Mark. Mark. So I'm guessing nothing happens here. This one. You're. I don't think. I don't think we die if we sit here for long enough. Don't. Don't say that we do, because otherwise we're gonna see it. Please. Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Show me the photos. Yeah, I want to see the photos, yeah. Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Yeah, I'm special. Of course you would. 
But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Do you think there's a chance that we could convince him that we actually really like his work still? And like, like I could be your new apprentice. And then as soon as we get out of here, we just, you just, you know, go for the old dick twist. I, I think he's so far gone that we could do that. Uh-oh. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, this round is taking Wait. too long. We have to do the, the, the fucking diary, because this is taking so long. Let me go. Oh, you know what, Max? No one's ever asked me that before. All right, I will let you go. What are you going to do? My diary. You... You still have my diary. Yeah, I read it. You're Don't crazy. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Oh, phew. He's not that Thanks much of a monster. Thanks for reminding me. Okay, is it going to get There's burned now? There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Here. Look at your selfies. Let's take a picture of you holding it. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. <laughs> I mean, from from his perspective, why would he think that that matters at all, right? But from a story perspective, that's so forced. Like, come on. You can do so much better. Why are we still listening? Let's just go. Whoa. <laughs> why are you laughing, Max? Max, why are you laughing? Oh my god. I can go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. What? What moment's this? Yeah, 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 Wrong button, sorry. Alright, here we go. This could be your chance to fix everything. For good. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Yeah, the dark room bullshit. capture you in a moment of desperation. Yeah, okay. Shh, shh, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Okay, so now the question of who Max becomes after the after the time travel jump is actually surprisingly important. So let's say she's here right now and she finds a way to get herself off of this future in this room. Does she still go into the bathroom and break the fire alarm? Or does she revert back to base level Max? What's the timeline continuum? Is there a version of Max that never gets time travel powers and that's the normal version or or what? I don't I don't understand. That's actually really hard to think about. Yeah, I think everything plays out normally so the little things is okay, but what is normal? After the bathroom scene when she jumps back, there has never been a normal Max in any timeline. She's had time travel powers since this moment. So there hasn't been one. All right, whatever. Let's keep going and see what happens. Be first long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Let's spaghetti out your killer. Not capturing. Daguerrean process. Yeah, let's get it right. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was that it? That was easy. Okay. Well, Ooh. Uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. Oh, he knows. He guys, knows don't that forget Max the knows. deadline to submit a photo in the everyday time heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Art let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Yeah, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna submit our photograph and then we're gonna end up in San Francisco with him. And before he gets to kidnap and drug us, we're gonna kidnap and drug him. Here we go. I'm gonna submit it to the fucking photograph. Now I'm gonna win. But a bub, a bub, a bub, a bub, a bub, a bub. Alright, let's clean up. This diary literally saved my life. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. We're gonna text David? Wait, how did we how did we write the journal? Alright, now back to the good part. 
do, 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 do. Chloe had been busy with her detective work while I was in my alternate timeline. Of course, she was already upset I defended David, even though I still didn't like any of his surveillance bullshit. Although now I'm going to use him in order to save my life. So what does that make me? I loved watching Chloe go into Sherlock mode while we examined all of our clues on our big old drawing board. Of course, we all know that she's more of a Dr. Watson, right? Elementary. <laughs> she did like nothing. What are you talking about? Hello, yes. I've never visited every anybody in the hospital before, much less anybody who's tried to commit suicide. So I was happy... Chloe wanted to come along for support. Okay, that's fine. Holy shit, I thought she was excited about going to the hospital before. But Kate's gentle spirit made it easy. I was overjoyed to see that she was drawing again and making plans for the future, including plans to get justice for what Nathan Prescott had done to her, or what I call revenge. I know, it's kind of fucked up how Max even is lying to herself that she gives a shit about Kate even in her journal. Because she clearly doesn't. She doesn't hang out with Kate. She doesn't do anything with Kate. Max's only friend is fucking Chloe. She doesn't do anything with anybody apart from Chloe doesn't even care about Warren. Chloe stood guard out in the hall and I stealthed my way into Nathan's room. And when Nathan ambushed us at the end, I rewound, not to tell her to let's step away, but to decide whether or not Warren beats the shit out of him or not. So before I had to rewind, Warren entered the scene and my white knight headbutted Nathan in perfect payback. I couldn't believe it. Neither could Nathan. Wow. In fact, Warren literally did go ape all over Nathan's face. Excuse me, it wasn't cool, but my nerves were so frayed from, from the week and I was so over all the Blackwell bullies that I didn't try to stop Warren from beating Nathan into submission. In fact, I rewound and saw it again. Warren had his own issues to work out on Nathan. Chloe and I headed to the beach to deal with Frank and see if we could get him to join us. I had to be careful and not get him all tweaked out, but once we, he saw that we didn't care about drugs or money, only Rachel, he mellowed out. Alright, so here's some, here's some legit, here's some, what I think is legitimate criticism, not memeing, um, problem that I have with the game. And that is how, as it's gone on, more of the choices have become complete, completely fake. So early on, there were choices like, all right, should we bully Victoria back a little bit? These, these are decisions where it's like, eh, should we tell the principal about the gun uh, or, or like hide it? Like, mm, th these are tough, difficult decisions. How to deal with Kate? Like, oh, what's the right answer here? Like, I don't really know. Or like, you might want to see how both sides go. Like there, there's a way that it could go either way, right? And you can see arguments for both sides. Whereas, hey, do you want to kill a dog? Do you want to throw that bone into the street and kill a dog? Or do you want to not kill a dog? Hmm, gee, I wonder what I'm going to do. Hey, do you want to kill this guy and kill his dog and on the beach and in the RV? Do you want to do that? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to, you know? I'm sure there's a couple more that I'm forgetting because I don't remember all the choices. If it's just those two, though, I will take that the criticism back. But I feel like there hasn't been as many as the story has gone on. But yeah, that just struck me right now. I don't know much about him except that he sells drugs, has a wicked temper, wicked, and that he loved Rachel even more than his beans. <laughs> what? So we get so that was that was a meme, and they added that to acknowledge the meme. So we get to add another member to our team. Booyah! Yeah, the team, team badass, team badass. They needed less instant bad outcomes from choices. Yeah, uh, Witcher One is really good about that too. Also about like making it so you don't know when something actually is a choice. Yeah, it needed a longer time between consequence and decision. Yeah. My life feels so surreal at this point. I don't know how to react anymore. I can rewind time and space, but is it aging me before my own time and space? All right, she's asking questions. I remember this famous episode of the, of the original Star Trek where Kirk has to go back in time and let the person he loves die so the Nazis won't win the war. What? I don't remember that. I, I don't think I've seen that episode. The Nazis? What kind of fucked up choice is that? Actually, isn't it proof that she isn't aging? Because her body reverts back to what it was before. Because when she goes into the photograph when she time jumps, she was the drugs were still in her system. So her body was reset back to that moment. She also Oh wait, hold on. Maybe the maybe the photographs have different rules. So when she when she goes through photographs, she jumps back to where her body was back then in that state. But when she rewinds time, everything else is rewinding but not her. So if she got completely fucking lit, like if she drank for her like half a beer and she's wasted. And she just sat in the room and just rewound the first 30 seconds over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Eventually, she would sober up in those 30 seconds. But if she took a photograph of herself after she drank her half a beer and she got lit and she waited like six hours and then she used the photograph to jump back, she would be wasted again. I think that's how that works. He shouldn't have pulled a knife on Chloe though and I don't think that he sells all these dangerous meds to teenagers, especially Nathan. He's a good drug dealer. Yes, Chloe has gotten me nearly killed, but I know she would die for me. I, I can't forget I put her in a wheelchair to slowly die in another reality. No, that just happens whenever you use a photograph to jump. You're going to go to the bathroom after this and that's going to happen again. 
and she's still gonna have that fight with Nathan. No, for real, what I think is gonna happen right now is that we're gonna submit the photograph to win the Everyday Heroes competition, so we end up going with Mark to San Francisco where we can deal with it. Actually, is that too much of a jump? Would they go that far? Maybe I'm off my rocker here. I do think whatever whatever change we make here is going to make it so that, okay, we get out of the situation, but oh shit, Chloe died. So what are we gonna do? Like, oh, because I made this change in this room, sure, I'm free, but Chloe still died in the bathroom, fuck. So now what do I do? But I wasn't prepared for the dark room. If there was evil ground zero, this place was it. I mean, it wasn't that bad. When I saw the binder marked Victoria, I got really happy. My heart started pounding like a jackhammer. I don't even want to think about the images we, we saw of Kate Marsh Poe's unconscious with that motherfucker, Nathan Prescott. She did know the truth about what happened to her, even if she couldn't remember all the awful details. No. And then Rachel Amber, delicately composed photographs of her drugged and all over Nathan like some kind of sick goth couple. I couldn't bear to look at Chloe's face as she looked at the photos of her abused angel. Uh, I felt, uh, why? Why would you write it like that? I felt nauseated. High school should be the best years of your life, I've heard over and over from my parents and other experts. Fuck. Fuck, do they know? Do they know? Tell that to Rachel Amber or Kate. I like to imagine that she wrote this, like, while Chloe was still crying in the junkyard. But we're as close to the end of this nightmare as possible, so I have to block out those images of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber that will be burned into my retinas. <laughs> My retinas. <laughs> Forever. There's still a final secret to uncover. And nothing is going to stop us now. Not even a goddamn tornado. <laughs> if you're new and you don't understand why my retinas is a meme. When we played Doki Doki Lit Lit Club. Um, there was a poem in that. And there was a line that was, it was like, oh no, my retinas. And it was just so funny to me. And I laughed and laughed at it because it was so awkward a line. And that's... Uh, that's why this is uh, Joe's retinas is it in the chat. That's how that's how uh, that's how amazingly funny it was It won't live up to the hype. Don't go back So bizarro to see all the students dressed up in expensive ha outfits or pre Halloween costumes Talking and laughing and smoking and drinking as if there wasn't a serial killer going to the same party. What do you mean? What serial killer? There's no serial killer What, what are you talking about? He's not a serial killer okay, Even with the information you have at the time. He's only killed one person He's not a serial killer. He's a serial monster. He's not a serial killer. He killed Nate. He's not, he's not talking about Mark. She's not talking about Mark. She's talking about Nathan. She's calling Nathan a, a serial killer. What about everyone who's gone missing? No one else has gone missing, remember? Look, he had a serial killer lair. He did have a serial killer lair. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. I actually saw two moons, moons in the sky over the horizon. And that's, that's all I'm going to write about that, even though that's the most interesting thing that's ever happened to me. Or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. No, no, it didn't. It was in the sky for like a rock solid half an hour. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a door just to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. Oh no, my iris. Other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. <laughs> so she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. October 11, I guess. I watched Chloe die again, killed by my favorite teacher. Why when did you write this? And, and doodled. So we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his trap. S seriously, how did he get there before us? The needle. I can still feel that needle on my skin. Why didn't you just be like, like instinctively like fucking rewind as soon as it's there? Like, oh, oh needle. Like, like how, how come like train hitting you and boxes falling on you and also the shit like triggers your rewind, but a needle like, 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 no, I have to use my focus rewind on multiple th photos so often that even I got confused. It was two jumps until we got to this one, right? Wait, did we jump within a jump? Oh, sh didn't, did we? Did we jump within a jump? Is that allowed? I guess I do that now. If I didn't have this ability to bend time, what would I have done? What could I have done? Well, if you didn't have the ability to bend time, would you have gotten in that situation is the other thing? Probably actually. Now I feel terrible that I blame David for harassing Kate, especially since he was after Jefferson all along. We could have been working together if David wasn't so paranoid. Yeah. David is the one who's the problem. Yep. David is the one who's the problem. If only he hadn't wanted to put up security can. If only he hadn't been angry that, that that something shit was going down in the school in the first episode. Which it was, because you pulled the fire alarm when there wasn't a fire. Also, you were skulking about. Also, there was just a gun and someone almost could have also died. Also, damn, he wants to put security cameras up at the school where there's a serial killer teacher that is kidnapping students. Yeah, okay, whatever. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. We don't know David's number, just off the top of our head. For over 100 years, Blackwell Academy has been... Uh, okay, do, do... Is it actually going to be in here? 
Oh, okay, it is there. All right. Uh, what are you gonna say? For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else and take Jefferson down fast. Mr. Madsen, you're after Ra Rachel Amber. Mark Jefferson is guilty. His dark room is under the Prescott's farmhouse. You know the location. He's sick. Of course I know the location. I set up the security system in that place. Uh, stop him. Message deleted. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. <laughs> and Jefferson, <laughs> you'll be going to prison. You'll be going to prison. The past within the past. Yeah. Am I pushing myself too hard? Oh, Victoria. We could have been friends. Why did I give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Oh, that's a weird poem. Okay. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and oh, wow. watch him squirm. Holy shit, now they're all unhappy. But I better let David take care of everything. They were smiling and happy before, but now they're all unhappy and serious. Time has changed. He does have a sick computer, though. Hey, Kate, don't jump off a roof. It's Hi, gonna be Kate. okay. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. <laughs> Always remember that you're... <laughs> not alone I've got your back no matter what happens so do a lot of other people we all care we're all here for you you need to know that Max that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. Hashtag I, blessed. I don't know what to say. Hug That's her. That's okay. Neither do I. Yeah. Maybe we could both use a hug. Snap. Thanks. Another one from my cringe collection. You always know the right thing to do. That's right. You did hug me in class that time after the... <laughs> Rachel, I'm sorry. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Photo boundaries? What do you mean? They're just making shit up, huh? Just a week ago, I was so naive about art, life. I can't blame the cameras, but I just think of Jefferson using them. Here's what it should have been, all right? There should have been a whole episode devoted to these photograph things what her trying to change things like man i would have cut a whole episode of, of of the the present timeline story and just like have her try and change so much and she just can't do it and really explore like the rules of what she can make happen like photograph band, like i i can I really get on board with their like every photograph being a proximity kind of time capsule but saying that now in like the finale of the game oh yeah photo boundary it's like eh, come on we could have explored that earlier. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's the camera you took with took photos of me. I'd like to bust this up right now. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson? Mr. Jefferson, we need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I no, can Victoria. see you kissing ass. Excuse us. <laughs> Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. You know how easy it is to hurt somebody? To destroy their life? Are you proud of yourself? If you have any feelings left, you should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly level. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. I think you Jefferson? Do. Well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. Oh man, the he's the good Mark Jefferson still right now. Yeah, yeah, let's go. And I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but why? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Enjoy it. Wow, oh. that's great. Uh. 
That was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Oh, oh man. Guilty. Is he turned on? Well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. <laughs> Don't be. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then, what? And then, so, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Delightfully devilish, Max. I'm gonna win the contest. And then, we, we, he's gonna think I'm going to San Francisco with him. And then, I'm just gonna knock it on the plane. <laughs> he's gonna go off by himself. And it's not until he gets to San Francisco that he's gonna get off the plane and be like, wait, where's Max? <laughs> and then he's out of town. So he, so he can't kidnap me if he's out of town that weekend, right? What the fuck is the plan here, Big Max? You're so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. Oh, yeah, anything. Because you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Does she know? What are you doing? Uh oh. Oh, wait, what? It, nothing happened. Nothing happened? Oh. Madsen listened. Oh, arrested. Oh, this this just worked. Uh, hold on. So, so what? She just wanted to win the contest? What does the contest have to do with anything then? Also, I won the contest. La Mayo. God, fuck you, Victoria. <laughs> did, 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 he, <laughs> did they bring her out of fucking... Did, did they bring him out of jail to go to the party to announce the winner? All right. Back in the police car. What the... Did they put her in a body bag? Uh-oh. Okay, how is there four hours more of this? Whoa. Okay, this plane's crashing for sure. This plane is crashing for sure. Hey, Chloe. Okay. You're okay, Max. Turn to You're your safe. right. safe. On a plane. Hi, whore. Aw, oh, this is I really- I everything right this time. Principal, get well soon? No. Oh, you, you can't even get out. Local teacher arrested. Good work, David. Holy shit, you rule Max, I'm so proud of my superstar, this is just the start of your career. Oh, you're alive. Okay, again, but which, which, which Max did this? What, oh, what happened? This is so weird. Okay, it's so weird. Wouldn't you feel like, all like, like weird, there was a different version of you, and now you just took over their life? Like, it's so, it's so weird. Like, oh, um, wouldn't they trace back the text message and be like, how did you know that? That if it led to arrest? She's kind of fucked, isn't she? Oh, you're alive. I did it. I fixed everything. Wowzer. Wowzer. Still would rather hang out in San Francisco with Mark Jefferson for a weekend than principal. He had to change his schedule real fast. Really? Wait, why has it got photograph boundary? Be careful. I'm still between realities and... I can't focus on this one for too long. What do you mean you're still between real? What? So she, she, she jumped up from one layer to the layer where she looked in the photograph and then, and then she has to jump up again, but 
that one doesn't exist anymore. So wouldn't wouldn't she just jump right back here? How would that work? So she she jumped back in time. Oh no no, she would jump a little forward, right? So when she when she jumped back in her first photograph, she jumped back say like three hours, right? And then when she jumped in the other photograph of, uh, again in that photograph, she jumped back another. No, she didn't. No, so in in let's say let's say in in the beginning of the game before she moved the trolley over, it was 11 p.m. on a Saturday, right? Let's just say that that's what it was. It was 11 p.m. on a Saturday. So she jumped in the photograph to go back in time, right? Where, when she was talking to Jefferson, let's say she jumped back six hours. So now it's um, 5 p.m. on a Saturday. Then she jumped back in time in another photograph within that jump to the classroom. And now when that happened, oh, sorry. So base timeline of Max's position right now in, in the timeline is like October fucking 15th or something. October 15th, 11 p.m. on Saturday, just just for, just for the sake of argument. I, that might not be the day, but that's what it is. She jumps in a photograph, goes back to like six hours earlier on that day. And then she jumped back in another photograph to the beginning of the game, which was like a week earlier, right? So now she's made those, cha those changes. So now she's resurfacing like the levels in Inception. So first of all, she knocks back up to boom. This is where I would be on the new timeline on October October 15th on a Saturday six, six hours before my original position here's why I'd be on this plane and then I have to jump up and I have to jump up again to now I'm where I would be six hours forward after that because that's my original position I have to get back to so she so right now she's still in a photograph layer but like as long as she doesn't it's gonna be exactly the same I'm, I'm weird that they're that they're even like addressing that I'm strange I, I, I'm strange I'm strange Joe is strange I, I'm surprised that they're even going to the effort for that just chill, just go to sleep. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in Wait, the distance. What if the plane is about to crash right now and she has to like fucking like use another photograph to jump back and now she's in like three layers of photograph and then a tornado is gonna happen? Screen. How the hell am I supposed to fix I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Uh huh. Look beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales. Oh, that still happened. Uh-oh. Some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. <laughs> Mr. President, there's two moons. I don't want... There's, there's, there's also two secret moon bases and they're both fucking communicating with us at the same time and they're, bo they, they're both just floating in space right now, Mr. President. I don't even know what to do. I don't even... I haven't seen my family in three days. And, uh, I don't... I don't even have a family before yesterday. The fucking... The fucking moons, like the, the, the oceans, the, it's fucking climate shit. Witnesses claim the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has has surfaced yet what which has led local meteorologists to believe the ima that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco havoc blackwell security uncovers bu bunker and scandal what do you mean what do you mean what do you mean? Police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Well, he didn't know that was what it was being used for. As far as he's concerned, he just built a bunker under his farmhouse in case of emergencies, you know? And considering the climate change going on, that's a pretty smart call. His farmhouse, his rules. His farmhouse, his, he's allowed to do that. He's well within his rights to build a, a creepy bunker if he wants to. This is what you were watching, Principal? Aww, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Hot? Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Alright, here we go. There's gonna be something fucked up on the news now. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. It was me, Max. I was Mark Jefferson's minutes. apprentice. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Yeah really true airline like seating in planes is really bad all right are we gonna talk to him now i bet this is a nice break for principal wells is it how did you sleep 
Read journal. Oh yeah, read journal. It was weird to be in class with Jefferson, like I wasn't just tortured by him in an underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is, a creepy, manipulative psychopath filled with bullshit. Still hot though. He uses art and passion to seduce people, but behind that, there's nothing but hate and perversion. I actually didn't sense m much hate from him, but perversion for sure. Definitely fucked the person. Okay, so still, still that happened. Alright, so baseline max still happened. That's interesting. So throughout the whole entire thing, she never... Did she still do the rewind into the photograph to try and save William then? Like, did that even that happen? What? Hmm. When she walked out of the out of the room, did she, did she know that she just handed in the photo? Did she, did she get the information for the future? No, she can't get the information. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, Max, Mr. Jefferson, fuck. Yeah, okay, so this is just them talking about it. Hi, whore. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed to pick. It's your last one. No fucking way you should have won the Everyday Heroes contest. I bet you blackmailed Jefferson. Wasn't he arrested already before this? You should have used that photo you took of me covered in paint. That's what an Everyday Hero does, right, Victoria? I'm sorry. That's the past now. Thanks, Gandhi, but I'm still going to make your life hell. All right. Hi, Dad. Max, I know Mom is melting your phone. I understand why. I tell her not to worry. You're an adult now. You can tell her I will soon. Soon? Soon? Soon what? Tell her soon that you're an adult? Soon. Alright. Just dad things. Winning the contest had nothing- <laughs> Yo, Mass Max, check this out. I had a little talk with Step Hero tonight. I'm all eyes. <sighs> I like that. God damn it. God damn it. Oh man, all right. It's noon o'clock again, because she's stuck at 12.01. Since he busted Jefferson, he is totally, a totally different person. It's been very cool and apologized for his behavior. Yeah, because the reason he's been so highly strung is because his fucking David Madsen sense was like something fucked up is going on in this school, something fucky's going on, and I need to fix it. And we fucking signed the petition to stop him from doing it and shit. David Madsen is always like, I'm telling you, man. Right, that's so sweet, Chloe. Now you're family again. Whoa, down, sister. I did not cry in his arms, but he helped find Rachel and punish the killer, her killers. David obviously hella cares about my mom and probably me. Yes, I am hella bored with nothing to do. What you doing, hippies? Some of us hippies have homework. No shit, Sherlock. And I already did my paperwork for Bay City College. So the school didn't shut down for like a week or three after one of their teachers got arrested for being that? Really? Really? I'm proud of you. I hope so. Chloe, I won the Everyday Heroes contest. Sorry. Holy shit, you rule, Max. I'm so proud of you, of my superstar. This is just the start of your career. I'm just glad I can share it with you. Damn right. Plus, Max, you deserve to win. Kirby face. No emoji. No emoji. Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. You were, actually. Just a bit. <laughs> it's been a tough week at Blackwell. He was my pal, after all. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's... Things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience. You like to get your drink I on, so maybe am. you are. We're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? I had a nosebleed last Max, night. You're not just screwing around with I, just, I, I woke up in the, like, just like sitting on the edge of the bed with like just, just blood on my finger. I don't know how long I had just been wiping my nose away, but it was like minutes at least. Just like, ah, oh, what am I doing? Oh, oh, there's more. Oh no, I know. I'll just, I'll just keep wiping it on my finger until it stops. <laughs> Time. It worked actually. It did. It stopped. Uh, wait, what? I mean, yeah, so it only jumped forward a few hours. Oh, it didn't make sense. Oh, man. All right, well done, game. Huh. Damn. I gotta admit. I gotta admit. I'm impressed by the continuity and attention to detail there. That actually makes sense. Damn. I've never been to an art exhibit. They don't look fun. They look very cold. But maybe it could be fun. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. 
This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Was that? Work the room. Please don't let me. I don't know. I, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Aww. Now you have to wow. start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell. This is probably a good week for the principal too, right? Because like he no longer has to be under the thumb of the Prescott so much. Although, shouldn't he be worried about funding? I don't know about that. Principal, that was actually really sweet what the principal just said. Like, holy shit. Damn. I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Great classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me. All right, Maybe. NL. Go, go come schmooze. On, Max. After every Wait, is schmooze a real word? I thought Northern Lion invented that word. Schmoozing is a real word. Is it really? Like, he made up shmovement, right? I thought shmooze was... <laughs> Is it really a real word? <laughs> and it's happened. This should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Shmooze. Oh, eight, eight, eight native English speaker writer. There are fucking, like, two billion words. I'm sorry, I don't know them all. Thanks. You did it. Oh, we Somehow. can actually walk around. God damn I went it. From the dark room to this gallery. All right. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Life is weird. Nice. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history in Frisco. Don't call it Frisco. Uh, I mean, San Francisco. Don't call it Frisco. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Uh-huh. Let's go look at our, f our Anne photo. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. You could have made that happen any day. You could have gone in and been like, Hi Hello there, gallery receptionist. Can I put my work up on the wall? And she would have said, Fuck no, get the fuck out. You'd be like, Alright, well, didn't go well, but at least I finally got to talk to a gallery receptionist about my own work. There I am. Along with all the other winners. I should Wait. say artists instead. Mark Jefferson. Celebrating each young artist and their work is, is as important as a celebration of our, our all too often invisible everyday heroes. Okay. So, not to shit all over her parade. This is less a, hey, you won a legitimate art contest. And more, this is a school event right like th there was one of these that i won in high school for writing and i had to go to a place and i didn't feel like it was as big of a deal for as as max does for like her photography right now you know like wow sir a danny lee article damn wowzer i left my art in san francisco or some say frisco all right, let's look at everything because, you know, the game is almost over. So we need to, you know, get everything we can out of it. It's probably going to be done by half an hour, I think. Episode Holy 5 is pretty shit. short. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. I'd like to be in a submarine, yeah. It must be really claustrophobic. I don't, like, not for a long time. I don't think I'd like to be in a submarine when it dives. Uh, if it was just for a day, maybe. I'd like to be in a submarine. The revolution will not be televised. Yeah, I know that line. The revolution will not be televised. It's awful, apparently, being a summer. Yeah, I, I would guess it, it's not a, a fun time, but it would be an interesting time. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Yeah. Congratulations for your piece. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Like, I, am I wrong? I don't. I don't think so. Uh, I, I uh, maybe Mark Jefferson is like was he really that famous? He seemed like he was really famous and popular. So I guess that you have the connections. Is is this what it's like to have actual connections and shit? I guess so, maybe. But he's disgraced. Look at this print. 
The depth of field, the colors, look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think... Her curves, her posture. Am I getting that right? <laughs> Where's the bus? Whoa. I knew about all this. When I was younger, I did a lot of photography studies. Didn't I tell you about it, Emma? I was quite good at it, actually. But I decided to drop photography to do a real paying job. Anyway, it is interesting to be here, and you're lucky to be Whoa. with me here. I can share all this with you. Oh, that one. That uh, one's good. Dad, the label says that this is a print from a disposable camera. That's just camera. a meme. What are you talking about? Uh, yes. That one looks familiar. I was meaning a like a disposable camera. Yes. Yes. Uh, and don't contradict me anyway. <laughs> Whatever. It's great to read all these comments, even the mean ones. Not as good as last year's show. Base David Foy. The future of photography starts here. Lisa Simpsons. Their 50 minutes are almost up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. This is so nice. Inspiring stuff, Steve. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Was this like an unused student model? She seems more detailed than the rest. Okay, do we, is our photo like in a place that's very like, has a lot of ceremony or did they just put it just somewhere normal in the gallery? Don't do that. Don't do that. What the fuck? How did she not tell? Hmm, that looks familiar. This might be too meta metaphoric. Okay. This is a digital camera, Max, you're not allowed to use those. What yeah, I don't get it either. Like, I do not understand art. So true, Umphi, me too. Well, I have to say. This is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wait, ours is just a Polaroid. Is it just gonna be like a little Polaroid on the wall? How much would you pay for that? Back in my day, games used to be good. Sure thing, Grandma. Let's get you back to bed. How's that caviar? So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. It's surreal. I'm lucky. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Let's choose imposter syndrome. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive. Oh, I thought he meant leave the celebrating to me. <laughs> Takes dual-wheeled glasses of wine. Here I go. Bum -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Kate Marsh in her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. You really should have. I should have told you. I should have told you that Nathan brought a gun to school this week. Maybe things would have been different. Maybe not. I probably wouldn't have believed that he did. True. Prescott's have a way of getting their way, or should I say, had. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. Stole the handicap fund, Couldn't by the way. I believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh. Those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Strange weather. Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather. 
Maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping Ooh, this excuse is a me. fresh start, Principal Wells. Uh oh. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Whoa. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet mm -hmm. calling me again. This is weird. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? I anyway, do. I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects to focus. Oh, very smart. Yeah, it is actually not a bad photograph. I do have to give her that. It is kind of lazy how she doesn't have to develop it or anything, though. It's just like, snap, I'm done. But yeah, you know. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. It's an awful photo. Is it really? I don't know much about photography that. Maybe I shouldn't talk. But I'm allowed to like what I like. I'm allowed to like what I like. Fuck you. I can like it if I want to like it. I like it. How do these galleries afford to rent here? Are you the one who wrote John Doe? 50 minutes are almost up? Usually these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep. But I like how this show is about specific... This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Usually these kind of contests, they they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. Damn, the zeitgeist. Time to think. I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? Oh, they blew it up. There's not just a little Polaroid. Wait, would it, wouldn't it just look fucked up? Can you blow up a Polaroid? When you take a picture with a Polaroid camera, is there also, like, it prints out a picture? No, it doesn't. It, it, it The light just, just goes on and is developed on the back of that, right? You, you can't blow it up. Like, it would be... I guess maybe some, some modern Polaroid cameras that are there for the gimmick would also take a digital copy at the same time that you take the that one. They'd find a way to do that, but... You can scan it and make it be... Yeah, but that's why I mean. it would be fucked up. Like, it, like it, would, it would be stretched out, you know? It would the pixels would be stretched to fuck. I know from having seen many stretched pictures in my time before. I can tell from I can tell from the pixels. I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. And she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. For whatever reason, I have this power. The Polaroid doesn't have a picture. Yeah, but the process of which you're getting it to the computer to, to blow it up does. Like, uh, I don't know. No, if you had a really expensive, would it? What would that work? Like, you still have to print it. Yeah, I shouldn't be talking. Maybe there's a way to do it. I hope I finally used it. This is a nice scene. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. All now, I it. know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. Is this face you finished? Too, Danny. Damn, we're making connections. Bad exposure, bad framing, bad picture. I could have done this so much better. Hey, it's Carmenag. There he is. I didn't know you were in the game. God, I love art. That's a line of dialogue. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis, and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Luke. Damn, we have more people around our picture than anybody else's. Hello, woman. Um, excuse me. I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. How'd you know I'm the person? I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Oh man, that was a really good comment. I want to hear it again. 
Yeah, speed my ego. Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. Oh, thank you so much. I can't so wait much. to see much more of your work in the future. Yes, praise me. Again? <laughs> um, excuse yes. me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. She's literally in the photograph. The today, back of her blurry fucking wrong. head is in the photo. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I'm wrong. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah. I'm wrong. Yep. Everyone knows who she is. Yep. I'm sorry. Yep. I'm wrong. Look how clear it is. I don't think it would scale up that well, chat. I really don't think so. Knowing nothing about photography, I'm putting my foot down. It would not scale up that well. There's no fucking way. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. Not well, but better than you think. Okay, so it's like if you like a Polaroid picture is not much bigger than your average cell phone, right? So to take that, I think that maybe it would scale well up, maybe to a little bit bigger than A4, maybe maybe A3, A4, A3 size paper. I think it would it would scale up that high. I think after that, it's not gonna look good. And even there, even at that level, if you looked really closely, I think you could tell maybe. I don't know. I think it really, it's really going to depend on how it's like, you have to scan it and shit and do so much processing to it. How much, like, how well would the scan, how well would the scan have to be for it? Yeah, I don't think so. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Uh oh. Joe just looking about to shoot. I'd rather just argue with my chat. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh my god, now I've seen the back of her head. She's the one that took the photograph. She was here looking at her own photograph in the gallery. Wow, what a loser. Oh, you left the ringer off, You suck, Max Caulfield. Chloe's dead. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man, your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado. It's coming. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? Is she gonna have to go to the gallery and use her own photograph to jump back? By the beach, I'm Chloe! Stuck. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. Okay. I don't give a shit. I'm in Frisco and I'm in. There has to be a way to stop this. No. For good. I'm in Frisco. I'm an artist now. My career is kicking off. My parents don't live there. None of my family lived there. I've saved Chloe enough times. I don't give a fuck. No, uh, not 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 my problem. Not the asshole. Not my place. Not my not my problem. Sorry. Your tornado. Your tornado. Your rules. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Principal Wells, we have to get back in the plane right now. There's a tornado. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go to the photograph. Look at this photo. Now there's four people looking at it. Now that I'm looking at it again, just to return to the topic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to return to the topic like this. All right, but I really, I, it's important to me that we figure this out. Okay. All right. If you did mix the the regular meat and the lean meat, the extra lean meat together, I think if you had if you got the ratio right, I really do think that you would have lean meat. <laughs> Please, no. I, I have to be in Arcadia. I think you would effectively Chloe. have lean meat. <laughs> yeah, see there. Look how blurry it is. Look how blurry it is. Th this is how it would Excuse actually look. Me. I'd what? love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Wait, what? 
No, yeah, sure. What are the questions? Ask. Ask? Wait, what? That was just an it. Oh, you're Max Caulfield, right? Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Yeah, can we talk later? Thanks. I really do not have the time to deal with everyone. Why are you being so rude? Just talk to them. Next interruption. Oh, that was... What? Oh, shit. Oh, my head. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. Oh. What am I doing to time? Eskel, is this normal? Eskel? My previous timeline was so perfect. I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. Um, what was the plan, Max? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. <gasps> no! Oh well. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Oh, damn, now our ploy on Mark Jefferson isn't gonna work. Damn, it really was just to win the contest. Wait, what? Uh oh. Because we didn't win the contest, he. G <laughs> Here I go again. <laughs> She's going to wake up dead. Oh, fuck. God, no. How? I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Hi, whore. Well, Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. Oh, could I? The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question. Kick him in the balls. Eat shit and die. Fuck you. Eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Kick him in the balls. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. Oh no. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shutter. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your- Why would that matter? Is he gonna explain why it matters? Stuff. How does he know? Probably because he found it, like, torn up in her, um, in her, uh, in her book at some point. Or in her journal or in class or something. Probably. I got a little carried away. Fuck. You he know, burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Wait, what? What do you... I'm confused. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa. So she couldn't rewind to text the dude in the first jump. Then how did we jump back and rip the photograph? And also, why did he burn it? I missed that. But... Uh... Okay, I can almost kind of feel how this could make sense, but it's bringing up bigger questions of, as if like... So if the continuity, if the timeline is that she's jumping back to change things and those changes are canon, then that also 
is bringing up further problems that she wouldn't have to jump back in some timelines then. So if she doesn't have to jump back in some timelines, uh, th then those timelines wouldn't happen. Uh, like, no, this... Uh, that doesn't really... There's something wrong about that. I'm gonna get a nosebleed. I'm gonna get a nosebleed. Like, fuck. Like, oh... Something is wrong about this. Something's wrong about this, I think. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Yeah. Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, I promise that's... it makes sense if you think about it. All right, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. No, I'm not getting it. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. Oh, thank God. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please. Don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please. Don't do this. She jumped to the very start just now, so everything we did in the game for episode 1 still happened. But when we got to episode 5, Jefferson freaked out and burned the diary so we could escape from here. Why did he burn the diary? And why, if, if he burned the diary, if he burned the diary and that prevented us from jumping back in order to send the text message from to to um to, to David, and that's why he didn't doesn't get caught, then why doesn't him burning the diary also make it so we couldn't go back to to go and do and get the art exhibit in order to jump back as well to to rip the picture up is is the issue. I think that's where the problem is. So if if you're using the the different timeline to make it so a time jump didn't happen, then I think you have to make it so that none of them happens. That I think that's where the issue is. Now it could possibly make sense with the most only the most recent time jump still happens maybe, but something is wrong here and also I don't know why would he burn the diary? And also, if the only reason he burned the diary is because the torn-up picture was inside, then that's just like, oh, it's very convenient that she just kept the torn-up picture in her fucking journal this time, but she didn't in the other timeline when she tore it up and left it in the bathroom. <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever, let's keep going. He was angry and he's going to kill her, so why would he, why would he keep her journal? But he didn't in the other timeline. So why did he do it in this timeline then? He didn't do that in the last timeline, but he did it in this one. And the reason why... And him burning the journal is apparently the reason why she couldn't go back and send a text message to David Madsen. So if he burned it in both timelines at this point in time, then it doesn't matter. It, it should still... It, it, it's it's burnt after she's already used it to go back and send, and send the fucking text message to David Madsen. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. Me, won't hurt me at all. What? David! No, David! Oh, no! no! Jesus! David Madsen! He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Oh, right, Max? Why is there an X in the top left? Okay, let's try this one last time. Oh, okay. Now we get a cushion. I can rewind a all the way. I talk to Jefferson and help set a trap. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I? Can I please ask you for one last- David, be stealthier! Request. What? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Turn off the lights. <laughs> can you- Can you play some music? Turn off 
the light. Do you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. Also, can you put on some music? And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. Also, can can I have some water? Wow, that made a difference. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Wow, exactly the same time, even though the conversation length was different. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? <laughs> David, what Jesus. the- David Madsen. He's out cold. All right. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right? Weird Max? that you knew that, but I'm not gonna ask. How okay. did you know? All right. No? No! Okay, cool. All right, it's gotta be music, yeah, right? You. One last picture? Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I wanna be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Oh no, the tripod is being used to hold the camera, so I can't use it as a weapon. Now David wins. Kick him in the balls. Journal time. Oh yeah, the journal! Man, I can't believe I'm back here. Oh, it's burned. Oh, that sucks. What? Let's warn at a different time. Right when you come- No! Okay, why aren't we experimenting with different ways to, to, to warn him? Like, David, stop a second. David, he's he's right around the corner. David, watch out! Max, How? you're so dumb. How did you know that? Wow, we rewound it. Okay, so some water. The water's not gonna do shit. Play some music. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Sure. Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trip. Oh, he's so nice. Now I'm a bit <laughs> Wait, now he's not gonna hear David come in, so he's gonna fucking inject me. No! No! Okay, we'll kick him in the ball. The timing is the same every time. No! Oh, fuck. Fuck off, game. Hold it. What? Uh, okay, am I supposed to kick him in the balls or something? Kick. Press A to kick. A to kick. No. No. I need. I need water too. I, I don't. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here, chat. I feel like there's a prompt missing. Was there a button to press warn or something? Let's. All right. I guess we ask for the water. Uh, excuse me. But my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Here you go, Max. Some nice refreshing water. This final dose won't hurt. Alright, as he walks away, use your foot to like slam him with the trolley. It's a trolley problem. Let's go. 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 Let's go. Hit him with the trolley. What? Hit him with the trolley. Max, what the fuck are you doing? David, watch out! Yeah, because my throat was not parched. He heard me more clearly. Here we go. Okay, I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what no the gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. <laughs> you are not going to stop me. <laughs> oh no! David Matson. <laughs> of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to do? <sighs> I it's know. over. You but are not table. going to stop me. Use. David. Kick that table! <laughs> yes, sir! He <laughs> <laughs> kicked it back and shot him! <laughs> Let's see that again! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Jefferson, it's over. You are not David. Going pull to the stop. cable. We could have done that this whole time. Oh Lord, Max. Now what else can we make him do? Are you okay. Are you all right? Don't touch me, can you fascist. You, you want to yes. put cameras around the school. Thank you, David. Oh Thank Max, if only you hadn't signed that petition, we could have had cameras around the school. I could have found you sooner. That's what you get. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Wait, what? How did I bring you here? How did I bring Let's you wrap here? Up this How did I bring you here? First. How? Excuse me? How? Info? How? How did you bring me here? What? He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. You don't remember? What? Are... What don't I remember? The chat stupid and the text went through. Then what the fuck? How the fuck did did not winning the contest mean that he didn't get arrested? What the fuck does having the winning the everyday heroes contest have anything to do with fucking David Madsen having the fucking fucking police investigation in order to fucking like get him arrested? What the fuck do you mean? He still got the fucking text message. There's no fucking way. What? Why did he only come today? Going to prison forever. Or worse. Good Mr. game, Jefferson. Though. Expelled. Now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Oh no. Wait, there's gotta be at least Warren. one. Yes. I, I can use that picture he took of us. Oh, that's relevant, actually, after all. Okay. Shit. No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. Oh, we're gonna drive? I had no idea he was this sick. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. Still kind of hot, though. Can we rewind and see more of the fight? No, we can't. That's what a shame. the hell is this? David place? Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. David. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Uh, Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. You suspected everybody. You kind of suspected everybody. Yes, and this is what I get for wasting all those hours on the Prescotts. They're an upstanding family. Sets too wide. Lack of focus. I know the feeling. I guess I looked just as suspicious when you told Principal Wells that I was harassing Kate Marsh. And I don't blame you. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. Oh, he's a good David Madsen. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. And I hope I get to tell her that soon. Joyce was right all along. Kate was bullied. It wasn't all your fault. Kate was bullied up to that roof. But it was still Nathan and Jefferson who put her there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I... I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But if only you had won the Everyday Heroes contest, Max. That would have been the slam dunk that cracked the case wide open and I would have caught him before now with the cops. If only you had submitted that foot. I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys, well... You had each other. I mean, I can travel through time. She learned from you. Eh, let's give it to him. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. Yeah, you both had a it. tough start. And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... 
I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. Actually, we've never really seen him interacting much with Chloe as in a dad capacity. In the one time that we did, it wasn't that great. Hmm, you tried. Chloe is tough. Chloe is tough. Just like you. I'm glad we have something in common. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope. Hope? A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. What? I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So where is Chloe? She's dead. Tell the truth, hide the truth. Why would we hide the truth? Let's tell the truth. David. Oh shit! Please. We're rewind. Oh no! <laughs> I thought we were. He's dead. This isn't happening. You can't. Why would we do that? When we're about to rewind. Oh, God. Why would we do it to the man? Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson Keller in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was so close to finding out the truth? Oh yeah, she she got shot in the head here. Yeah, sorry, I got confused. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I. What? God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! Kill him. You took away my stepdaughter! Kill him. Kill him. Do it. Do it. David, wait! No, don't wait. Do it. Yes! Completely justified. Do it. Do it. Based and mad pilled. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. No, I'm glad. What a mess. Take a photo, Max. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Now, now David's gonna get arrested. Well, first of all, we're rewinding, so it doesn't matter. Like, and by rewinding, we're jumping the photograph. Second of all. There's no way a jury would convict him. There's no way. And that's the real thing that matters. Life would be ruined for a bit, though, huh? Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David. Thank you for saving me. Why can't I just wake up? Let this be a nightmare. Jeff, hold tight, David. I'm going to fix everything. I can't believe Jefferson is dead. Okay. 
right under my nose. <laughs> I kind of want to rewind and see what the other option is and see how that goes, but it was a really long conversation. Let's rewind and then we'll take our break and then we'll do the other way and then we'll decide what we're going to do to the poor man. Joe, you're torturing chat. The torture is the point. Burn stuff. Good God. It's a studio. <laughs> All right. Be back in five minutes. The Prescott's had to know about this. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. I had no idea he was this sick. The Prescott's had to know about this. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. Good God. It's a studio. No. What the hell is this place? I had no idea he was this sick. The Prescott's had to know about this. No. What the hell is this place? Good God. It's a studio. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. No. What the hell is this place? I had no idea he was this sick. Good God. It's a studio. Max. I'm sorry I'm here. The press guys had to know about this. Great memes. <gasps> I want to burn all these photos. Let's jump back to that one. This was before he burned our diary, right? Let's jump back to this one. I hate looking at me like that. Why did we pick up keys? I'm confused. To steal his car? I thought we were gonna jump in Warren's picture and Warren's no. picture was in the bag over there. Or what was that the just like, we're gonna, we're gonna put the bag on and we're gonna leave to find Warren. Is that what it was? Okay. Every song you hear in jail will be torture. Not if we kill you. You'll never be free again. Oh, Chloe, I'm gonna save you for the last time. Bathroom. It's a studio. Junkyard. Junkyard again? So she gets shot three times, so she has three bullets on her on her necklace? Or does the junkyard where we ride don't count? What the hell is this place? Let's There's take no it. way I'm leaving your necklace here. Sure. Alright, where's the place to sit and think about what just happened? The Prescott's had to know about this. <laughs> Remember when he kicked the table and Jefferson did no you, kicked it back and then fucking shot him? No uh, more fucking guns. No more stupid guns. Man, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to be here. Alright, let's uh let's lie to him this time. David? You know what? What if we don't find Warren and the photograph and we're stuck on this timeline? He deserves to know the truth. David, um, but she was pretty stressed out, so um, she went to go um, medicate before I ended up in here. So she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. And then as we're walking away, we hear a gunshot. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Oh, here I go killing again. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. You're not getting away with this, Jefferson. How could you? Pulls up Reddit so he has it on the other screen. Oh man, my favorite streamer's live. Let's have that in the background while I'm going through all this evidence. <laughs> Good joke, streamer. <laughs> Sick and evil. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find Warren. Can't wait for it to be actual climate change and nothing to do with your yes. travel. It's just a tornado. Th those happen sometimes. Warren, can you hear me? There hasn't been a tornado like this in Oregon, in Port in Arcadia Bay for a hundred years. Damn. Which meant we were overdue for one. This just happens sometimes. Way of the world. Never mind. Listen. Do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Because if you do, please take a photo of it uh, on your screen because we just found out that a print of the photograph works in the art gallery. So just take a quick photo of it and text it to me so I can jump through that on my phone. Thank you. There's no need to meet up. This could be an email. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a 
a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's All crazy. Right. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, you can stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm's getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Punch the storm. Punch the storm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get David, right? David, David, you wanna come too? David? No, no, David, no. Okay, okay. Fuck you, David. All right, stay in the storm bunker. Oh, music time. End of episode. She has no photos of herself at home. No, she's not a photographer or anything. And this way, we get to see Warren again in the episode. Oh, where's McReady? Don't have to be Rush Limbaugh. Lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Whoa. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, how do I pay all those taxes? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. He still killed Rachel though. And Rachel was hot. Oh, did we, did we just crash the car? Wait, what the? It's flinging. Oh, I put the, the sweet 1977 truck off the off the parking lot. Oh my god. Quickly wore in the photograph. I don't have it on me. I left it at home in the dormitory. Oh shit. Homeless got out though, right? Because we warned her. Hey, that guy is trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Why? Oh, rewinding. Cares. I have to get this guy out of here or he'll die. Hey, is anybody Dead out there? Body. Death is everywhere. Somebody. It's following me. Help. Oh, he's pinned to his own truck. Oh, Lord. Thanks, kid. You okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. I can't believe this is real. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. Go. <laughs> back under you go. I want my interview. Yeah. Put it back on. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. All right. How's it going? Oh my god, what's gonna hit her in the tornado? She needs help again. Oh no! Help me get down, Max! Okay, how? How do you expect me? God damn it, Alyssa, I can't troll the weather! Oh, we can help walk on this? This does not look walkable. I'm surprised. Okay, Alyssa, what's your help issue? What, what are you expecting me to do? Catch you? Alyssa is stuck in that house. I have to get her out fast. Go through the door. How did you even get in the room? Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Help that shit, Max. Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way.
Oh, I didn't see a butterfly. Oh well. How can I get out of here? Don't fail me, fuse box. Fuse don't fail me now. Oh. <gasps> no! McReady, no! It's no! Dead. Electrocuted. McReady, no! No! Oh no! Oh no! I'm requiring for McReady for sure. Oh my god, McReady, no! Ready, McReady, move! I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Hey, you look like you you're ready to catch some serious fish. What? I know that voice. You gotta move. Come on. Okay, you know what we have to do? We have to kill him, and then we have to rewind when we get in the room. Here we go. All right, here we go. What far we wind in the fire? Damn, I'm stuck here unless. Oh, I'm that's fire cheap first. as fuck. That's cheap as fuck. We're saving McReady. Oh no. Wow. Like a dead fish. Oh, this can't be the end. McReady. Hey, Come on. how are the you fish? Have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Ugh. I need air. No more storms. No more storms. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. This is kind of cool, I have to admit. The destruction here is pretty intense. Oh no! Sand. Yes! Oh. rain like that? With enough sand, clearly, but would that amount of sand work? Warren, how did you get here? Oh, what do they have today? Oh, bacon and eggs again. I wish life was back to simple eggs and bacon. Could be. Damn, this is blocked off. Oh, Rachel Now I have to find another way into the diner. Oh, that's why you can go into the, the back street earlier. Well, it's not all bad. That's good. All right, where are you, homeless? <gasps> homeless spot. Oh, good thing they left. Oh, she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding Bobby counties. Six. The emergency broadcast system is- Go get him, Julia. <laughs> Even right now? As a student at Blackwell Academy, I'm torn in writing this essay. I love my school and the education it is provided, but at the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwell has a problem, it's not with any glee or agenda. In fact, this problem reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school, and they are us. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. <laughs> 
Hi, horse. Max. Oh, Frank's here. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. It's gonna take more than one whale to hit oh, to blow down this diner. Larry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do. I should have known there was going to be a killer so tornado. Stupid. Why are we even entertaining conversation? Give me the picture and let's fucking go. Who cares? Should have seen it coming. Yep. Should have seen it coming. We're going to make out? So oh. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Warren, do you think that love can bloom during an E6 tornado warning? Whoa. Damn. Frank, Rachel's dead. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Oh, now, Max, Frank. what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Those lines weren't, weren't put together right. Oh, Frank, I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. And I don't care about your elbow. No, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? Found her. We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Pompadou hated him! Where's Pompadou? You saw... You saw Rachel? Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he... He killed her. How? Mm. How did he kill her? Overdose. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. Uh-oh. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Uh -oh. Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. What about your dog? I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just Why are the subtitles so fast? That's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. You know, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house just Oh my God, can we move on? In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. Uh-huh. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't get me wrong, kid. Yep. I still oh, think still you're weird. All right. But you're cool. Thanks. Want some more beans? Max, do Hey, you... Joyce, Chloe's dead. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Chloe's dead. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? This isn't even the worst thing that's happened to you today. I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David hold up someplace. Oh, David, say for sure. I'm sorry about all this. I'm not choice. telling her. Okay, Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Oh, I did. Actually. I mean. Actually. I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. Um. I just 
want our lives to be normal again. So is the tornado just but waiting outside or I think you're right. And look at me trying to keep my family together. If you were to ask me, it, to me, the timeline of destruction here looks like the tornado moved out into the water rather than is moving in from the water. But your parents should be prouder of you. David is a hero. Damn. David is a I real David. hero. I don't know what he's gone through in the war. All right, just I can imagine. We're we're telepathic now. Showed me how to find my okay. own strength under extreme conditions. Cool. I am so glad to hear you say that, Max. You've seen him at his best. And that's the man I want in my life. Bye. All right. I can't Bye, war. To escape. Oh no, the first aid kit. Oh well. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe, and I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Is the tornado related to related to her powers? I'm so confused. So it's not confirmed yet. I guess they're going to confirm it, but it seems next to impossible to me that the strange weather in a tornado isn't the result of her changing space-time continuum and there's all these problems that are adding up and it's making the animals kill themselves and the weather get trippy. And it's it's probably that different timelines are merging and that's causing weird weather effects and shit. That's why there's two mods and uh, two, two mods. Two, I was saw chat there. That's why there's two moons in the sky. There weren't actually two moons in the sky. It's just that they were seeing two, two skylines at the same time. That they were kind of overlapped with each other. That sort of thing. Don't know exactly how that would work, but yeah. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. I did, actually. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. Love you. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Why is your mouth not moving? Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jackson's back, which made a storm repeat I went to the bathroom, and saw my best room clothing shot by the other person. What's so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out the hacker one time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I can rewind time too. I started the storm. I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could... Why does it keep happening? Rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All because... because of me? <laughs> he, he doesn't have the right emotion on his face either for those lines, so it's like... It's like they're making, it's like he's making fun of her, right? It's like, oh, you're not, <laughs> what the fuck are they How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play when I school, <laughs> but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Oh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He dosed me. He used Nathan to get... Drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. You would too. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You believe me? You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and. And you've always treated me like a person. Oh, oof. we really haven't though, bro. We really haven't. We only come to you when we need something. Oh, oh oof. Not, not a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic 
or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. Beta nerd is Andrew Tate's talk, is it not? I do know you're here for a reason. And He's been hitting those videos for I sure. It's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. Don't How touch me. How could there be more important moment in history? How dare you touch me? I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Give me the photograph. So, any Please any advice on what to do about the space time continuum thing? You. No, we're not even Good asking. Job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Okay, we're about to just about more to about it here. So Los Angeles, too. Who cares? Hey, be careful out there. Hey, Carlos here. Be careful out there. Oh, we're kissing him for sure. I want a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Good luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Lauren. You just gave me a boner. I know. Of course you do. Yeah, that's, you can see it. Yeah. I'm going to make the right choices from now okay. on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. For this shit. Come on, Max. Whoa, oh. ghost! Chloe! Zombie! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. Alright, we what we need to do is, Chloe, we need to go inside and we need to do everything like we did last time, alright? And then when we drive to the place, what we need to do is we need to look in the back of the pickup truck because Mark Jefferson stows his way his way on there because it's the only way he got there before us. He just like we arrived there, he jumped out before we stopped the stopped the car and he snuck off because there's no fucking other way that he got there before us. So he's there. So as he's there, I think he's being all sneaky, we're gonna shoot him in the head. That's what we're gonna do. No worries. It's all good. I'm Glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? Damn. We have I to find Nathan right girlfriend. now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. To Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to. You're gonna die if you do. How do you, you know? used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time, and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up, so there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. Chloe, your best friend has time travel powers that she's demonstrated to you multiple times that are real. And she's telling you, if you go in the party, you're gonna die. Why are you arguing? You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you, and others. You don't, have to be happy. you don't have to be happy about it, obviously, but you know, take it seriously, Chloe. Teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We no, saw the proof. He's not. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Too dangerous. Nathan is dead. Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Here's my phone because call. I was there. Will you please tell me exactly? Wait. Is he not? Is he not actually not dead yet? Because where's our phone call about him saying, Max, he's coming for you next? I don't I don't think he's dead yet, actually, in this timeline. Right now. Voicemail? Okay, then check your voicemail and let, him, and let, him, and let her hear it, I guess, maybe. Check your phone right now. That was, that's what I mean. That's, I, thought, I thought it was voicemail, so like, let's go. What happened? Check the diary. Oh, she's updating this as we go. Alright, where's my text to David Madsen about check the thing? It's not here. 
because we deleted it. Jefferson was pissed that I had torn up my contest photo, freaking out about my wasted talent. Bastard torched my diary so I couldn't even rewind using my art class selfie. Yeah, I, re I really I really don't get it. So my whole plan took a shit and I couldn't text David about Jefferson. What? He he torched your diary in class? No, no, no. Hold on. So he torched it after he got Okay, that doesn't make sense. That really doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense whatsoever. So which is how I ended up back in this evil dark room after I thought I had escaped. How did David show up then? He saw their their uh, their board of, of clues in the room. It does make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I'm sorry. It just doesn't. It really doesn't. It breaks the it breaks the way that time travel has been used in other ways in the story so far. I'm sorry. It doesn't. I understand. It kind of feels like it almost makes sense right now. I can see how you're getting there. I really, really can. But it doesn't make sense with how they use time travel in other ways. Like. <sighs> Yes, Joe, you are entirely correct. I can't tell when people people are saying this a lot more lately. When, whenever we have disagreements, and I can't tell if it's just people like are actually agreeing or if they're just being like, "Yes, Joe, you're entirely correct. Let's move on. Let's move on, Joe." Smiley face. Let's just keep going. Let's just go. Yes, Joe. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure, Joe. Sure, Joe. I don't think it makes sense. I think it breaks the way that it's been used in other ways before. And it's not worth getting into. Amazingly, it was David Madsen who turned up to save me thanks to his own surveillance. Oh, it wasn't even our, our work. Thanks to his own surveillance, he was almost Jefferson's shadow and tracked him down to the farmhouse. I borrowed Jefferson's car to haul ass and found that Nathan left me a sad voicemail. He only wanted to warn, warn me to not be blamed for Rachel, but Jefferson wouldn't forgive him. So let's play that voicemail for Chloe right now. My thought of why she might not have the voicemail right now was that I was under the impression that Jefferson killed Nathan after kidnapping Max. Like, so he kidnaps Max, doses her, keeps her in the, in the, in the bunker, goes out, finds Nathan, kills him, and then comes back. That's what I thought the timeline was, but apparently no. Apparently Nathan's already dead right now, according to Max. So, so that means Max should have the voicemail. So just, just pull out your fucking phone and play it for, uh, Hold on. So this whole time, she just she just had to check her phone. She never checked her phone. So so she she fucking gets the text message from Nathan saying, "Hi Max, Nathan here. I know where you are, and I'm going to do." But she also sees, "Hey, I have a voicemail from him. Not checking that though. Not checking that though. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, no, no. Text message fine." Who gives a shit? If I decide I need to fulfill my destiny, whatever that was, and use my powers for good, and more importantly, to not be afraid, there was no more time for fear. Yeah, I guess Nathan has to be dead because otherwise, how did right now? Because otherwise, how did how did Mark have uh, his phone to t send a text message? That's kind of bullshit. That's kind of bullshit. Please, Thanks. Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson with one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Okay, don't tell her about your dad. No, don't tell her about your dad, or about her dad. Talk about the art gallery and and everything else. D d no, not the time. Not the time to bring it up. Okay. I fucked up. I fucked up, Chloe. Okay. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? Back in time, nothing. All right. Here we go. I, I was able to go.
Why did you? It, it didn't say, I'm going to fucking tell you about I went back in time with William. It just said back in time. I thought she was going to fucking talk about the other ones. I didn't know it was going to be like, oh, by the way, I'm going to do the, I'm going to, I'm going to, I have like fucking the 10 of these that I could pick through right now, motherfucker. But you know what? I'm going to pick the one that deals the highest amount of fucking emotional psychic damage to this girl as I possibly can. Back in time to the last day William was You just picked it to be mad? True. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... It, you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. But you only tried once? You, you asked me to... End your life. I did. For you. I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, Whoa. I'm so sorry I had to oh, ask you. Oh my god, that's a... I'm... That's a very mature response from Chloe. Holy shit. Wow. I, I, ooh. Well, that's another plot hole. Holy fuck. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you, ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you. It's not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually Wait, stop him. Chloe's eyes. Right? Is, she Is that why you stuck up for him? Is Chloe stoned because right now? Maybe that's why she's really? so laid back. David saved me. David cares about you. David was ha David. David saved me. Chloe. David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room. <laughs> I'd oh. be dead. <laughs> like, all right, I'm cool with you going back in time and seeing my dead dad. Why didn't it get to? And you have to see me in a wheelchair, and then I was paralyzed, and you had to kill me. And I'm cool with being okay with the understanding that was hard for you. But I draw the line at you thinking that my stepdad isn't a step douche. I, I, you know what? Like, no, I don't. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you. But... I'm so grateful David was there. Oh no, she's okay with it again. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. Just found out Rachel's dead, by so the way. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David. And we finally- Oh. How does she know that? How does she know that? Wait. How, but how does she know that? And has she said that to Chloe before and Chloe just goes along with it? How does she know that? Only let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. What do you mean? That's how it's worked so far. She never made an informed decision the other time she jumped to the she went back. No, but the assumption could be that she remembers the there's a new max that remembers jumping back that gets to stay behind and she just does the same decisions again right and nothing is exact exactly the same anyway so it's not always going to be uh identical I, I feel like that's a big assumption that the max that's left behind doesn't what the max just blacks out and just is like oh whoa, like like uh, how come that's never happened to us maybe it has i don't know that's a big leap a quantum leap She knows this because in an alternate timeline she had five years without knowing any time travel until she suddenly remembered something. But that was, um, no, that's when she jumped back, right? That's a different thing. 
the the claim that she's not going to know anything that happened in the time before she jumped is 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 a different thing than in the small slice of time that I'm taking over this 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 max I'm not going to have any memory of it that those are two different things right remember that time she became Victoria's best friend anything she did the again that that is a different thing that is not the same thing as what she's describing right now I'm not saying that they can't work the, but that same way that that's a different argument but right now that is not the same thing Aren't they both photographic? Okay, let's go through it again. So what Max just described was that when she jumps back into a photograph memory, when that memory jump is over, the Max she like puppeted while she was there doesn't remember anything that just happened in that interaction, okay? So that's what she's saying, right? She doesn't remember that happening. What you're saying is that when Max jumps into a different timeline, she doesn't remember anything of that Max's history that happened before the jump back. These are two different things. Do you understand now? Those are two different things. My question is what happens to the, the memories of Max that are there after she's not puppeted anymore? What I've, I've ruined arguments forever now because it's just, yes, Joe, totally right. So right now, when Max jumps out of this photograph back to the present, the Max is left behind. Did she just lose two minutes of her life? Or in her mind, memory, did that just all happen the way it always did the first time? We don't have all the info. It's true. We don't have all the info. It's probably not consistent. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, Chloe. I see that the real Max is back. So how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked! It actually worked! You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. But I don't blame you. For wanting me out of your life after all my drama. We're doing this now? Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Base. The fuck are you talking about, Chloe? Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. Whoa. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. <laughs> for like Rachel! To think too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. Why? Why would? Why? Why? Why would you say that? Why would you say we'd be safe for the lighthouse? Lighthouse? Did Did multiple Maxes like come and go in this time, saying this sort of thing? Why would you say we safe for the lighthouse? The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because And you believe of me. fake Stop Max? Lamayo got her. Stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that. Wait, safe at the lighthouse where in, in her vision she specifically saw like a boat fucking smash into it and fall down? The the safe at the lighthouse where she fucking died at the beginning of Okay. Monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. 
Our well, it's, revenge. It's, 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 it's called Rachel, actually. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Yeah. Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. Whoa. Oh, no. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm what back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This the might color, be hell. Uh. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition up. in black and white? A am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't boy. freak okay. out. Let's talk Sam. Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as Wait, tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. Alright, fixed. Alright, let's text Sam. Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Wait, is this different? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to No, I remember that part. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Every Journal? Maxine, you keep fucking up. How many times does Chloe have to die in front of you? Maybe it would be better to actually, you know, have a life? Find my cat pics, please. My heart is broken. Always take the shot. Take a selfie, ho. Yeah, hi ho. Yes, you're running out of, out of choices. Let's all go to the lighthouse, Max. Why do you want to kill everybody? What did everyone ever do to you, bully? Go fuck your selfie. Go fuck your selfie. All right. Who who wrote this? Max, we have a surveillance video of you overdosing Chloe. You cannot escape now. There's no reality where you can hide now. Don't you dare underestimate me. You hear? Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. Hi, Max. Rachel Amber here. Just wanted to introduce myself. I'll be seeing you soon, real soon, because you're going to die. Pomp. <laughs> Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. you. If you want, we can hang out and get high. But he's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Okay, game needed way more of this. <sighs> That's awful. Improvement. That's... me? Are you kidding? Oh, that's too creepy. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Not yet, you bastard. Mr. Jefferson. Zozo. Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Oh, that's fucking cool. Uh, this can't be real. Is it in a, I mean, in a fucked up way. Oh no. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. All right, this is neat. I like this. This is definitely not for reals. Yeah, you never look that good. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't no, even think about Excuse leaving us. here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Thought you never ask. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. Our dark room. Thanks for killing. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. I've been dreaming of the day when you would finally tell me. I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Call me Mark. We need to play catch up on all the time we've wasted. Wasted. Especially since there's nobody left in your life. I love you too, Max. <gasps> this can't be real. I love you and all you guys. I don't believe it. Cool. Let's go wipe it off the mirror finally. 
Why can we move faster in here? This is kind of weird. Okay. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? Hey, Kate. What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. And she's going to inject us. She's not going to be in Life is Strange too. <gasps> the <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god, we're going to confront the toilet roll goblin. Whoa, there's a whole other dorm in here. The goblins live in large. This hall never ends. I, I better find something. Who's eating those beans? Oh. Are we back Where's in time? To, where's Where's Rachel Can't Amber's room? All right, chat, go ahead and say it. I'm whore. All right, uh, Victoria Chase's room is down here. No, that's Kate. Victoria, you... Something... Fuck fake bitch? Oh, insecure, insecure. I hate Victoria Chase. Who are we now? Oh, god damn it. Look at me. I am Max Self. <laughs> it's a picture of poo. <laughs> ah, that's great. Do you know how much I would have lost my shit if at the end of last episode, instead of it being Jefferson, it, it, it had been the science teacher? Oh, that would have been so good. Science teacher would like shoots, just shoots Chloe in the head, steps around, and I was just like, wait, what? That would have been so fucking good. <laughs> Well, there's no way this is getting MCA made, right? The MCA, it's backwards. Well, it's getting open the podcast is cash. Oh, cool. Now we have a Either the new quiet girl That's like, it, there's a lot of cool shit in this game, it just, you know... Kinda shits the venom parts. Is that all you're thinking about? I'm gonna get the new one, I think. We're going to the bathroom for sure, right? Time to get Rachel Amber's soul fragment from the butterfly. Oh, time 
for a to hide, Max. time for a stealth Get section. Here. Let me capture you. Here we go. There are no continues, my friend. Jefferson is coming after me again. You no. used to be so pure, so innocent. All right, finale is pretty now, short. What should we do? How about a fourth die. stealth section? All right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm in. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. <laughs> what happened to your spark, Max? So where are we going? I thought I hey, Max. Hey, how's it going? Max. Uh-oh. Turn right. Now left. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. I want to be your professor again. I can teach you so Which way do you turn? Much. You turn the other way, right? You turn the other way, right? Hey, Max. No! Hold on one second. Uh-oh. Okay. Max. I miss those days when you looked at me in class with those wide eyes. Max. Max. Damn, you can't do it. You can't sneak past him. He's too much of a perceptive Mark Jefferson. He has his glasses on. God damn it. I just want to stay there when he turns. Twenty twenty Joe would have tried again. Hello, Max. Hello, Max. God, I wish they all said hi whore. Attention. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates, Maxine Caulfield, has died. Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Oh, it's Warren. Hey, Warren. Come hey, buddy. Out to Stop. Why? We're friends. Max. Max. Go ape. Max, imagine if we were in that dark room together. I have. Yeah, I know. I said get in the car now! If only Cape Marsh would have jumped off that roof. Could blame you can't Hulk escape my surveillance, Hulk. Missy. No, he's the bad David Madsen. He's David Batson. Get your bony ass over here. I'm gonna cut you open, freak. Max, Rachel not only gave great headshots, she got you. Excuse me, what was it about to say? Hey, Max! She also great gate gave great head. Rachel. You should have heard Rachel. Chloe smack talk you. Hey, Just like her last. Oh, no. Bottles. This might be hell. Oh, are we not? We're not going to use the bottle to smash to smash his head. I thought that's what we were going to do. Great head. Hey, wait, wait. This this was cool, but now that we're here, this is very video gamey Ugh, in a bad way. Too hard to find. Max. What what is this? Find the Max. bottles? Like what the hell? Bone meat, Want some drugs. Oh, hey, drugs? Drugs? Oh, let's sit and think. Damn, where am I? Can't believe I'm here. Max, sit down. You're taking a time out, no matter what. This is my nightmare. Let me have one sanctuary. Of course, this is where Chloe and Rachel used to hide from the world. Oh, is Max is here? It was here, still there? But I can't hide for long. Whatever reality I'm in feels like a bad dream. So the powers that Am be are like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give this girl time travel powers. All right, cool. So she can make Maybe a lot of changes, right? No, if she uses them, she's gonna destroy the whole fabric of reality. It's gonna be fucking sweet. Just is there any way for her to not do that? No. Let them All right, so why are we giving her the powers? It'd be fucking funny. Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just give her the powers. Is there one more left? No, this is it. We got them all. 
Oh, the bottle's already here. Oh. I need proof that bottles were out to get me, just in case. Where's a friend to sit on the bench with? Bench friends. Alright. I'm gonna pop it next to Chloe now. All of this was to save the budget of them having to, like, like build a, a mountain trail scene that led from the beach up to the lighthouse. All of this. Made in Taiwan. Oh no, we're in a snow globe. <gasps> We've always been in a snow globe. Oh, we're the snow globe that we broke. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Now I'll let Breaking bad gift. Start slamming on the glass. William! William! <laughs> Oh, 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 someone's very upset upstairs. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Aha! You can't hide from me forever! Now lock up after I leave. Play That's nice. her burning the picture, right? Destroy too much of the house. And so no we're back with the chain. What? Hey Max, would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. It's so true, Umfi. It's kind of fucked up, right? Dad. Did you even try anything else, Max? Oh, she doesn't care. She's completely unfazed. Uh oh. How long will this nightmare go on? Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking that too. This is taking a while. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. <laughs> Max is a fucking child. Let's hear that again. Max is a fucking child. Oh, Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. Me too, I know, I think right? everyone at Blackwell is over Max. Let's prove it. Huh? I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Holy shit, Warren. Max is trying to play us both. I guess she's not as innocent as she acts. That's true, I am. Not when she's trying to hook up with both of us. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I only want to go ape with you, Chloe. Come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit, look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, shock -a bra Damn, Victoria, you're a real woman. Not a little- <laughs> I hope she has the dog next. She's she's like a dog on the couch, petting the dog. <laughs> you're you're a way better friend than, than Max. <laughs> Girl like Max. I fucking love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long to hook up. What is this? Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. True! Rachel's dead and you're still alive. Life is so not fair. I wish she would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Also true. Wait. Wait, this bathroom. Big ready? Oh, oh no. Great. Numbers are all over the place. 
How will I find the right coat? That's what they say when uh, when you go to McDonald's and they and you know you can go get your food, right? It's McReady. Now why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Oh. Okay. All right, that doesn't really help me, does it? All oh, the number it's zero zero zero. I thought it'd be like one left in the in the mirror somewhere, and that would uh, and that would tell us what it is. Oh, it's it's every number. It's whatever is not written on the wall. All right, let's go through it. Which is the one that is not written on the wall? All right, so it's this one. Zero three one one. That wasn't bait. I really didn't see that for some reason. Well, I mean, I saw it eventually, but you know, I didn't see it right away. Don't kill us, Max. Oh wow! I guess I'll never dance again, Max. More people in one scene than God of War Ragnarok. I was about to start a new life in California. Who the fuck are you? For no reason, Dana's best girl. Shit, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I'll die alone. He's eating Max, those Max, I hope you do the right thing. I hope. I can't believe you kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Max, Honey, please save us. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna take <gasps> So me this is me. how Max I'm gets her revenge on. Max, you, you saved doing? my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. You <laughs> Not like trash. I sure hope you do that for everybody in town. <laughs> Fuck you! <yeah. laughs> Can we hear it again? <laughs> Max, you saved my life. <laughs> Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Uh, fucking... Thanks for that warning, Max. They don't leave Max. That. Don't kill me. Who, who are you? Holy shit, are you serial? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. All right, here we go. Can you get me out of here? No. Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers. I'm the Max that it has to has to stand in after you do your time travel bullshit. There's only two of us. You can't imagine the shit I've seen in the lifetimes I've I've lived. Wasn't my choice. I tried to help. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. True. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. Okay, yeah, but that's all you let me do with them, though, game. That's all you let me do with them. So, yeah, it's, it's Max. It's not me. It's Max. I do care. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I wasted my power on trying to be friends with everybody. About time you admitted that. But it's way too late after everything you've done. But I still have great friends. Great friends. And my power helped some. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Save Kate Marsh. You've left a tr That's true. We did save Kate Marsh. But I'm gonna need three more examples of good things you did with your powers before I let you out of this diner. Keep going. Trail of death <laughs> and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. Whoa. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe. Didn't even know it was Chloe. You think she's worth all that? My best friend, Destiny, we all are. We all are. We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Yeah. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. It's really not. You're gaslighting me. You do that homework. So you have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. 
Max, do you yeah. really think she just she's went that gun around, kind of willy nilly? That she respects us in any way. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy. Oh hell, speak of the devil. What up? Hello. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. Oh. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. Because I don't drive very well, as you're going to find out later. All right, that was kind of cool. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. I yes, I like shit like this, cool. so this is going to be this more effective is on so me. Sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Okay, is this just no, like turn it off? Turn it off. Is this like a museum I, uh, of all no, the this song fucking rules? Unhappy Can't memories of Chloe. Come on. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic. All the silver and, 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 to and, Max and copper the power coins. For which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Uh. Raw and rough. You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Oh, that looks cool. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. Great I'm reuse so of assets. As long as you're my partner in time. <laughs> I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is Max. You better come check out these files. Let's steal that money. Drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my wand. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Photo bomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. It's a dual fee. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. What, you didn't flush the Wish toilet? We could just hang out all morning like we used to. I doubled it. <gasps> Kiss me now. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Where's that guy from the art show? Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's in a girl. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> it's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? Wow, this looks better without awesome the blue hair. Picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. Chloe, you're back. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound... Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Well, it's just like recapping the whole thing, <gasps> seriously. Alright, it's a little too much. Come on now! Don't worry! Don't worry! We'll 
be okay. All right, you just gonna like step into her body. Max, Max, can you hear me? Please say something, Chloe. I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. Yeah, we're safe here. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. All I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me. This is true. Which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max, this is the only way. <laughs> I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. <laughs> you, you could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To fuck that. No, no way. You okay? Would that even work? Because when we time traveled back to save William, we only time traveled back, we only did one, and there were dead birds after that. But maybe that was because that was a really, really big change. But if that's the case, you really can't change anything. You really can't change anything. So that means, like, why do you even have the powers at that point? I don't think this would work. On my number one priority now. You were all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. Wow. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. You are the beach. Okay, this isn't even a choice. Because it's... You're insane to think this is just going to stop at Arcadia Bay. Like, this isn't even a choice. I really want to do it for the memes. I really want to do it for the memes. However, it's the ending. And the game hasn't been that bad. It's had some cool moments. Let's respect it. There's only one choice here. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. 
I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week. Wait, will you? It was the best farewell gift. Isn't that just changing things with extra steps? I could have hoped for. No, you can't. You have to let it ride. You're my hero, Max. Or else there's gonna be a fucking tornado oh, again. Chloe. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield. Don't you forget about me. Music starts playing. When's Baba O'Reilly gonna kick in? Oh, she almost died. Holy shit. Oh, we didn't have to do it this time. What was that? What just happened? Huh. Okay, get the hammer, pull the fire alarm. Let's go again! It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. All right, aren't we just gonna wake up back in the dark room again with Miss, with Mark Jefferson looking at us? <laughs> Isn't that what's gonna happen here? Did we just go into a fucking? <laughs> like what's what's gonna happen here? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could my, blow it up. My jump You're back the boss. Dead. <laughs> so what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Honestly, I would change in the past one time. One last time, fix things wouldn't make this one work. Yeah, exactly. That 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 that's the problem. Yeah, this wouldn't. That's why I said before I paused it. I said this wouldn't work, but apparently the story thinks it will work because the story is framing this as as the universe basically gave gave. I, I, at least is what I'm thinking right now. The universe basically gave Max and Chloe a gift here that they got to hang out for a bit before she died. For whatever reason, they decided it was it was really important that these two had this time together, and because they because then they can make a game. So it's just basically like, hey, this is what it is, and. Maybe they can solve some right some wrong that's here with, with Rachel going missing or like I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's supposed to be framed like oh there's a sense of justice in the universe and what Mark Jefferson was so was doing was so wrong that they just gave this girl powers and she could fix it. But also at the same time that that she got to see her friend that would die right now no matter what because that's what the thing in both timelines right. That's what I think is going on. But um. In, in terms of like stepping back from that emotional core that seems to be driving the story in the ending here. Um, which is not that bad, actually. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Uh, like, stepping back from that, this wouldn't work at all. Because she's a different Max. It, it would always be different, you know? Like, it, it doesn't matter, really. Like, it would always be different. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! My work here is done. Oh no, the tears weren't here before. Someone's gonna slip on that and die.
actually, because he shot her, he's not going to get away with this. Like, he's probably completely fucked. So, he's going to get arrested, and Jefferson's going to probably go down with him, actually. Alright, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, makes sense. Did we still win the contest, though? Sorry, gay people. Yeah, they were lesbians after all, because they're not allowed to survive and have, have, have happy endings in media. It's the rule. Sorry. Well, at least that's confirmed. this what are we looking at here do you have your own dark room now what the fuck is this max Talk to everyone because this was a lot of work for just a one shot. David, best boy.
yeah, the framing of this is totally that the universe just gave Chloe and Max a gift here. That's the, that, that's the framing I'm getting, is like they get to say goodbye. That's what it feels like, right? Like, yeah, it's like, I would guess more so for Chloe than Max, because Chloe lost her father or whatever. Like, I, I feel like it's like, here you go, you know? Like, this is what was always had to happen, but you get to have this, and, and you know, it was interesting because it made you feel real because you had time travel powers, but whatever. Like, I, I don't I don't think that, um I don't think Max is going to have time travel powers, like, after this, but maybe, I don't know. I don't think it makes all that quite sense, but but yeah, I, I feel like that's 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 the framing here. This doesn't feel like a gift because it's reintroducing them to each other only to break them apart in a cruel way. I'd rather have a life of oh wells than what ifs. Albert Nietzsche. Can we see the the better object? Sorry, the other objectively better ending. Um, not playing the game at all. Sure, yeah, we can do that. Okay, fifty-two to four. Oh, it's actually surprisingly close. Maybe because people go back and reload, or is it this? This is only take your first playthrough. David got a scar during the fight. David didn't get a scar during the fight. You can make it so he doesn't get hit. David killed Jefferson. David didn't kill Jefferson. You saved the trucker. <laughs> you saved Evan. You can save. E Wait, Evan was there. You saved Alyssa. Uh oh. You saved the fisherman. Of course, you saved the fisherman. You didn't change Joyce's minds about, about Joyce's mind about David. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? I thought we did. What? I th what? You told the truth about Rachel to Frank. You kissed Warren. Oh, most people kissed Warren. Polarized. That's a pretty good title considering what just happened. Max, Damn. It's like we Max, didn't learn our lesson. Here I am, time traveling again. Chloe. I, I, must have I would love one of the characters to look at the screen right now and go, "What the fuck Don't are you, you doing?" Do that again, okay? Should we go to Sudoku while this place? I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. All I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all that. Yeah, now we can skip. Get fucked, Chloe! Max, it's time. Not me. No, I choose Rapture. Max, I'll always be with you. You gonna drop off the cliff now? What about like ready? Well, he'll 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 respect it because for the first time in his life, the fish are coming to him.
streams are back. Sound down, is it better? I, I didn't do anything? Okay, great. But you can hear me. Um, I don't understand. That doesn't even feel like it's finished. All right, so I also need to do the very final little bit of Christmas shopping that I have for the kids. Um, boys are done, but uh, Al Qaeda still needs a couple uh, a couple things, so I want to go out and get her a couple things. And if I see anything nice for the boys, I'll get them too. Uh, Al no Al Qaeda. My my daughter's name is Kate, and she's a terrorist at the house. She's Al Kate. Uh, Al Kate. Uh, why, why, why would you hear Al-Qaeda? What the fuck are you talking about? What, what, what are you talking about? But we're going to talk about the game a little bit. Not that much. So, let's um, let's rap about it. Here we go. My name is Joe. I'm here to say Max and Chloe are hella gay. They are. And that's great. So, this wasn't awful. You guys made it out to be... A lot of you made it out to be that this was going to be like more Zero Escape, KG, The Room style like so bad it's good and don't get me wrong this wasn't a masterpiece this is no masterpiece this was no like fucking great piece of art but it did have some cool moments and some cool ideas and i think it succeeds a fair amount i don't know if it succeeds more than it fails now that i've seen the whole thing i feel like the whole point of the story is max and chloe's relationship and that makes a lot of sense now why she doesn't interact with much of anyone else in the whole entire story max and chloe's relationship and this just basically giving them this time together before she dies and it's like for max to reconnect with her friend uh, with miss opportunities even though max is an awful person also chloe to have this like this Obviously, in both timelines, she just really wanted to see her friend again. She had a lot of close feelings for her friend. Um, and she gets to have that before she moves on. And for whatever reason, the universe decided to give it to them. And that's my read on it. It's definitely something going on with the blue butterfly and the and the, and the blue birds. And, and like there's like a magical, mystical area around here. And it turns out that it didn't need them to investigate what Jefferson was doing at all. Because like that just happens regardless as soon as Nathan gets arrested. So that doesn't seem like it's a, it's a thing that was happening. Under that framing... I kind of feel like the whole entire murder mystery plot, Rachel Gone Missing, is actually just padding. It's complete filler. It's just, that exists as, let's give them something to do. And that makes me think it's also, like, and now my read is like, it's like, give them this adventure, give them this thing to do, you know? Like, give Chloe some closure about Rachel before she moves on, even though she doesn't really have it when you rewind, but at least one Chloe got to have that closure. Let's, let's let them have an adventure. They get to be like detective pirates, like they like always dreamed when they were kids, like they would have some adventure kind of thing to do, you know what I mean? I think that they could have done more with that, and I think they could have done more with the time travel. I would have liked to see lots more exploration done with that but now again like i'm at the ending and i see the point of the whole entire story that would change the story into something else and it's clear to me that they wanted this to have this let's have an emotional connection between these two characters and explore them reconnecting their lives like almost every scene is all about chloe right it's like max and then chloe max chloe max chloe max chloe so yeah it would be a different game and a different story at that point and that's clearly not what they wanted to tell I would have preferred if they told something else because while I liked this, I didn't love it. I think there, it would have been more interesting to explore the time travel aspects some more. I think it would have been more interesting if they had a better murder mystery. Uh, maybe they thought that the whole Mark Jefferson thing would be more interesting and more engaging to be more surprising. And, oh, is it Nathan? Is it not? You know, like it needed to have more 
depth explored than that. The whole school system seems kind of like a bit out there too. I do wonder if it was always supposed to be about Max and Chloe because the whole Kate thing seems odd now, oddly out of place, but maybe that's just feeding into the mystery that's going on. Hmm. I don't know. But in terms of production, I thought that it needed a few more different environments, but someone in chat two streams back said that this was made on like a shoestring budget. I don't think it actually was made on a shoestring budget for the scale of the game was probably a very tight budget, but this is definitely not shoestring budget. Voice acting was pretty good. Presentation was pretty good. Music was a hit or miss for me, especially the party scenes or whatever, but it was all right. Writing switched between kind of so cringe and funny that I'm not even sure if it was on purpose. Like ironically funny to unironically funny, like ass biology, like what the fuck is that? Like the characterizations of all of them are really weird, like Max is kind of awful, but then she's a teenager so she's gonna make mistakes and stuff, but you know, having them voice her intrusive thoughts is very strange and maybe not the best thing you could possibly do. Chloe grew on me a bit as it went on and she's in a bad place and I don't really judge her too harshly like she she lost her dad in her early teens that's gonna be rough and then she doesn't like her stepfather also pretty rough I like that David was pretty good all along and he was making the right decisions he just wasn't going about it in the right way he was also flawed feels like that sums up almost every single character well every character except for like Mark and maybe Nathan is that they're just trying to do their best and they have their flaws and they and they can't help but be held back by them doesn't excuse people like doing shitty things of course but at least you can understand it um yeah i like this this is pretty good even victoria oh, yeah victoria's not that bad victoria is like like not even in the top five of, of like the worst characters in this game for shit they do like it's max number one then probably then probably uh warren then mark jefferson then nathan uh then Alyssa. And then Victoria, I think. I think that's what it would be it. Before Storm gives a little more depth to click. I kind of don't, I'm kind of nervous about playing it because I feel like it's going to add a lot of context to this that it's going to make it worse. Like, damn, what's that going to be like? What story is, is going to be there for Before the Storm? Uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see it. Maybe it has some cringe in it. Might be, might be fun. Will we ever have Stein's miss? I appreciate the attempt, but no. Stein miss is dead forever. Steen miss? Before the storm was not made by the original devs. Oh, so it might be good then. All right, good. <laughs> uh, I think visually the game has aged very well. Um, there were some weird, the weirdness in, in, uh, in, uh, like lip syncing issues and stuff like that. Some of the environments looked a little off, but for the most part, I think it's aged quite well. It's, it's a, it's a pretty enough game. It's, there was never any part of it that I looked at and went like, oh man, this is not visually good at all. Like it was, it was fine. It suited the theme. Um, uh, what was the last thing I wanted to say? The choice is kind of like, eh, I liked, I had fun with the time travel. I think they could have done way more with that. Even in just mechanics, like, like I was eating those damn beans, like times where you can be a little bit of a scumbag with it. That would have been funny. I like that they call Max out on using it just to be cool, but that was the only thing you really had the choice of using it for. So seems a little spec opsy to me. Um, I don't think that the, the time travel makes perfect sense, but it makes sense enough that it, I don't have a huge issue with it like I did in, in Steen's Gate. Like how it worked when we when we pieced out on Steen's Gate was like like literally impossible. So that's what really pissed me off. Like they they made a change in in time and that just couldn't do what they tried to do. So you know, what are your favorite means from this? Uh, my favorite is the NPC that is acknowledging that you just said the right dialogue line. You're right, I did need to hear that, but please continue and say four more nice correct options for me before I will give you what you want. Like, I think that's my favorite, although I think High Whore got wrung out a little bit. Equals Keck was pretty fun. Did the emotional beats hit for you? Not really. At the very end there, when it was like like solidifying that, okay, this the whole point was to give these two, these two characters their moment, um, I felt that, that that worked on me a little bit, yeah. I was like, okay, I think I get it. Or at least I get it enough, like, you don't just... Okay, here's the problem with saying I get it. Just be... First of all, not getting it is okay. And just because there is something to get doesn't mean that if you get something else, that your I get it is invalid compared to the intended I get it. You know what I mean? So I can say I get it, and that might not be it. 
But I guess it, it should be it should be more instead of saying I get it, it should be I got something. Right? So at the end of this, I got something. So because I got something, I'm happy with the ending, even though I have some problems with it. Something about the ending resonated with me and something clicked and I was like, okay, I got something out of this. Instead of saying I get it, you know? You're so right, Joe. So right, Umfi. So right. Score out of 10 better than Odyssey. Well, of course it's better than Odyssey. So it's at least a 6.1 out of 10. Let's go with that. It's a 6.1 out of 10. Are you glad you played it? Yeah, I'm glad I played it. Okay, but why did Jefferson burn the journal? Because we need attention in the story. There's lots of problems with that. Is it better than cage writing? Oh my god, yes. Oh yeah. Cage writing is possibly... Okay, so on, on a sliding scale of writing that also gets attention and budget... And you add those two factors together. Because obviously there's way worse writing than cage writing uh, on Amazon under the name Joseph Anderson. There's lots there's lots worse writing than cage writing in the world. Like, go and read amateur fiction, like live journal, fucking blogs. Here's my first time trying to write a story. You know, it just, just, there's just so much worse writing out there than cage writing, obviously. There, like, cage writing, at least in some part, is coherent and makes sense most of the time, okay? Like, you can actually follow... There, there is a storyline here. Like, there's a lot, a lot of bad writing out here, okay? Um... But if we're talking about a sliding scale, if we add into, okay, writing that also gets attention and money and effort put into realizing that writing is a finished product, cage writing is the worst I have ever experienced in my entire life when it comes to that. Like, I cannot think of another another game or even movie that has that much money poured into realizing those scripts and, and ideas. And yet it's actually completely fucking awful you ball i haven't seen any you ball movies so maybe that might take it better than better than uh than than david cage Kaji kojima is miles better than david cage what are you talking about like kojima is creative he's he's completely insane all right but like at least you're going in for like having a good time on a, and getting some interesting creative things that don't always have to work ironically you know what i mean kojima's pretty good David Cage sets up, like, basically, like, puts a, a the text on the screen, all right? There's a part in one of David Cage games where he puts text on the screen that basically reads, the character on the screen right now is the killer, okay? He does this, all right? This is what he does. The character on the screen right now is the killer. This is the game telling you right now as th that this character is the killer, all right? And then that character is not the killer, and they never explain it. They never explain it. They never ever explain it why that happens where that came from they never explain it and that still isn't even the worst writing that he's done right i i honestly can't think of something more offensive that is played straight than when jody says to the child soldier in the middle of a war zone as he's running around with an assault rifle don't worry, this will all be over soon, and you get to go back to being a regular kid again. I, I, like, I'm what? cringing just saying it out loud. I, I, I can, I can't think of anything worse than that that I've ever read or seen that is that is said like straight faced and like in earnest, like. <laughs> Jesus, what game is that? That's uh, that's Beyond Two Souls. <laughs> Beyond Two Souls and Door Suicide and Death, remember? She smiles! She, 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 she's like, yeah, that was the right decision! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, Yoshi, how's it going? Oh, man. But Detroit Become Human is pretty good. Did you ever play Omicron? I did not know. Detroit Become Human, yeah, Detroit Become Human is, is David Cage's best game. Detroit Become Human is uh, around Life is Strange level to me. Like, it's 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 decent. It, it has some yikes, don't get me wrong. 
and like I would say the lows of of Detroit Become Human are way lower than Life is Strange, but you know it has some cool moments and some cool characters. If you don't like Connor and Hank though, then you're not going to get much out of uh, Detroit Become Human at all. I think. But I, I think I like the structure of um, of the trip becoming even too. Seeing all the different ways that the story can go is actually pretty cool. Someone just said something else about Kevin. Yeah, I know that too. I just I don't want to go that far into spoilers because some people might not have, have played it. Do you think it's fucked up? Weird fact though, when Max and Chloe left Arcadia Bay and and everyone know get killed by the storm, they're smiling. The storm came, but it came for the right reason. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I just butchered your comment. But yeah, I think that just comes through. Yeah, that was really messed up. I don't I don't know why that was even yeah a choice. It's so weird. I'm surprised that a lot of people picked that, considering like it's like yeah everything. I, I also I'm I don't understand how why was it just fuck Arcadia Bay specifically. <laughs> Wait, hold on, something fucked up's going on in here with the space-time continuum. Just wipe out this area specifically. <laughs> Joe is the best chapter in your opinion? Um, I think chapter two or three. Two or three was the best one for sure. I would say four was the worst one. Four was by far the worst, even though it started out interesting, but no, four was the worst. And I would go two and three. So, so worst tier, chapter four, next tier up. It would be one or five, and then uh, top tier would be two and three. That's how I would rank them. I don't know where I would rank them individually if I had to, though. If Max didn't give a shit about Chloe and not call her for five years, why would the universe give her a chance to meet her again? Well, it's not just for Max, it's also for Chloe, I think. Like, Chloe really wanted that. Like, look, in both timelines, look how Chloe, ha look how happy Chloe was to see Max again, even when she didn't, even when she didn't have Rachel, right? She still really wanted Max, she needed this closure. So I think it was more for Chloe than Max. But, like, you can make a, a bad decision and fall out of t in touch with your friend quite easily when you move away. Like, like, I I want to hate on Max. It is kind of fucked up, but at the same time, she was young. She was a kid. Like, I, I need I need info. Like, how did that how did that go? You know, like I moved a lot as a as a um, as a kid, and I moved a lot from school. I never had a friend as, as good as Chloe and Max were. Like, I didn't have like a like a friend where uh, like early on in life. Sorry, I didn't have a friend like that. Um, so. It's hard for me to judge that, but like I know how hard it is to keep in touch with people and you move away even if you say that you're going to. I did have a friend like like on Chloe's level when I was in my teens, late teens, and then I moved away and I did keep in touch with them, um, but late teens, not early teens. Um, and then throughout the years after that, uh, like uh, it, that just just ended just very slowly, you know. Gay lover, unfortunately not. No, unfortunately straight. Ninety nine percent heterosexual male. Remember. This story of Ragnarok? I think I give it to Ragnarok. Really? Well, like, I'm a dad, so it's gonna be more effective on me. Have you played Tunic? I feel you love it. Not only have I played Tunic, I Steam decked it. It was okay. Favorite part was at the end, the true ending. That was a cool moment. Is the mouse back, or is it one of the dogs? What are you doing, dog? But uh, the combat exploration got a little tiring after a while. Birger or McReady? McReady all the way, man. I'm in McReady stan. What are your expectations of what story Before the Storm will cover? I have no idea, actually. I have no idea what it's gonna cover. I hope it's not just gonna be more information about what happened to Rachel and like the shenanigans that, that Mark and Nathan got into. But we'll see. Now you completed it. How would you compare it to David Cage Telltale's games mechanically? Okay, on mechanical level, this is the last question I'm gonna answer, and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna peace out. Hello. Um, mechanically is an interesting question. I haven't played Telltale games. I've played the first uh, episode of Walking Dead, and that's it. I don't even know if I finished it. Uh, I played it for more than an hour or two, though, so I, I can't remember if I finished the first episode of Telltale's Walking Dead. But I haven't read. I haven't uh, played anything else than that. Um, so I can't really comment on that mechanically. Uh, I felt that moving around and looking at things in this game was a lot more interesting and I had a lot more fun doing it and I wanted to do it more than I than I did in the Divi Cage games, maybe because of the camera, pers the camera angle. Instead of being like a little bit more like a Resident Evil game, this game you can actually move the camera around max for the most part. Whereas in a lot of the Divi Cage games, it's, it's Resident Evil fixed camera, which can be cool, don't get me wrong, but 
um, I think I prefer this system for, for looking around and exploring. Um, because you use repeated environments more here, I was able to get more in touch with the characters and the places and see change, and I liked seeing the change and seeing how it developed as time went on. Whereas in, in the cage games, you're con you're not constantly, but you're usually going to a new place, which has its perks too, but um, you don't get to dig in and see uh, repeated characters all that much. Uh, I also liked the writing more when it came to what Max would comment on compared to what happened in the cage games because in the cage games it was just less interesting and here it was more funny. I feel like there was more stuff to do to fuck around with as well in this game than there was in uh, in the cage games. There were more like still decisions but kind of like minor somewhat inconsequential decisions that didn't don't feed as much into the main narrative as all of the decisions in cage have to. Someone's really upset. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this was this was entertaining. Wow, she's really crying. Bye, whore. Wow. He doesn't understand I you. Must go. He still doesn't understand you. Do you understand, Celine? No. Nope. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, but you can't come with me.